yeah uh while chat is gone this is a welcome to an episode of unclicked this is uh kind of just a random one really not meant to be like a full chat episode right yeah i mean chad was the first guest ever mm-hmm. so we kind of and he's been sat in on news podcast and he was here for the Colin one but it's been long enough to have chad back on of yeah course. yeah that and was... we kind of wanted to make the focus like his influences early video parts his favorite video part and uh and all that stuff and and obviously uh as you're about to find out we we showed we pulled up chad's vimeo and yeah and it sparked sparked uh, a a a real conversation that we weren't you know uh, i don't think any of us no i didn't come here to talk yeah, about that so, for sure not so, so but thank you thank yeah. you for coming and uh thank and we'll you for having me click yeah. back and shout out to dales this is a this is a daytime one so we're chilling on the dales today and shout out to woodward yeah and shout out to source bmx uh huge supporters of, of what we do and super thankful so um go have some fun go get some bike parts and uh go have some fun when the sun goes down too. Right. let's do it chad curly podcast go cool. mm-hmm. my Can head's you. huge <laughs> you got layers to it. Like, Did you see this, this thing? This doesn't fit. Who's yeah, that's that? a dread. That's Chad's. No, it's not. I cut it, I cut it off while you're sleeping. I was gonna say, bro, that has not my hair. <laughs> if that's my, I wasn't hair. here for that episode. Todd Lyons, are here. Look at that, the legend. Wait, so he cut his hair on this? No. <laughs> <laughs> What is going no, he on? Had the, you remember back in the day, he had all the crazy dreads? It may have been a little bit before your time. I mean, but like the, like I do remember old school. Dreads, yeah. Well, yeah, so he had the dreads, so he cut them off. And then the night oh, before sure. the podcast, I was like, yeah, can you bring something for the wall? Like, oh, he any, brought me- his... any memorabilia, a dreadlock, like just oh. like half joking. And then he literally showed up with a dreadlock. So that's sick. Yeah. But it's probably got like a hundred um, of them. So they're perfect. Super yeah. He said, he, I mean, he's that type of dude where I like, I'm like, yeah, it makes I sense. He thought it was so. yours or. Or rest in peace, Pat. So we want, know who's we would like oh, one of yours as well. That's what I'm saying. Don't put mine up there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta save mine. I haven't cut it yet. <laughs> All right. I'm cutting it. I don't think I'm gonna cut it. If I ever do cut it, I'm just gonna trim it. Trim but it. I think I'm gonna keep my dress for Bag a while. Them. Bag them. So whenever you ever do a podcast, you can give it to him. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> what is We're gonna watch a bunch. You had a shaved head for a long time. That's a that's an era. I started growing it out on that uh, Haro Mexico trip, remember? Out there. So you, yeah. That's when I started. All this footage we're going to watch pretty much. So that's like 2017. Yeah. So everything before that. And the whole time, I didn't know I was adopted, all that part. So I I look at the footage, I'm like, damn, I do look hella Asian. And I didn't know I (laughs) (laughs) looked. And we always messed around about that, dude. Dude, and I just never knew. I just never fucking knew. And I just had, I had a, you know, like you wouldn't really think about it. I mean, yeah, because you're adopted parents. You would think that. You know, you look just like Dude, them. I just did his mom's white. Yeah, I just black. didn't. Even yeah. I'm like, but yeah, sure. My eyes look like that when I smile and shit, whatever. But now, when I really look at him, like, damn, I was really just a Filipino kid riding bikes. Didn't know I was Filipino. I just had Filipino lunch with my black. yeah. I just had lunch with my my mom, biological mom, and brother on my birthday. Damn, really? Javier's, yeah, I never talked to you about that. Yeah, that La Jolla. Go? It was good. It was actually like um, since we actually met, that was the second time we've hung out. So crazy. It was like. Not as, like, I guess it's touching or whatever. I just It was just chill and just kicking it. it that's the cool. way it should be. Yeah, that's how I wanted yeah. it to be, yeah. too. But more so, I want to kick it with my brother because I feel like that's a cool relationship I could have. He's uh, 25. So Damn. it's like we could be hanging out, you know, and he likes a lot of the same stuff I like as far as clothes and just, like, I don't know. We haven't really kicked it, but when we do hang out, it seems like we have some shit that we In relate common. on. Yeah. So. Is that brother same mom and dad? Different dad so but brother. when he was when half brother, I half brother. Yeah. when i was born his dad was there but wasn't it wasn't his you know huh. he was mm. just a friend of hers and then they ended up having a kid mm. That's crazy. So, yeah it's weird they live where uh, like i don't know if it's like maybe it's oceanside oh I guess. Or close. yeah that or a little closer that's crazy. Yeah. so what happened then when you when <laughs> I stella think... and randy took you in they took me in your parents well because they were looking you. for a kid yeah so they they went into a foster home and i think that was i was the only one it wasn't like they had like a list of anyone to choose from it was just like i was the first one they had come across and at the time now that i know the story my biological mom was like uh she wanted a mixed couple because she was like you know 
wanted that for me if she could mm -hmm. and then i guess she did know like that the there they came up across the table and so she looked at the couple and was like him being from Detroit, she's super into football, my bi biological mom. So she thought like he'd be like a football guy and just <laughs> wanted, I don't know, just the background of what they had to offer. She wanted them to take me in or whatever. So, I mean, that makes sense from like a weird thing. Like you like, yeah, it was like fill in parameters yeah. to like make you feel like you're doing the right thing mm -hmm. when you're giving up mm -hmm. a kid or a cat or right. dog or anything right. like that. You're like, oh, this family, they yeah. look like this Ex and they fit this. Exactly. And they, That's yeah. exactly what yeah. it was. So, yeah. yeah so then they got me and then i was probably i don't even know fuck months old you know mm -hmm. but too you know too young to really you you know even notice you're making, <laughs> anything you're, you're making rue cry i know what the heck <laughs> but it is crazy that is nuts, that, like yeah so when i look at footage though i'm just like damn like i'm i'm looking at like even how i felt in the footage is like just i didn't even know anything yeah. no any better and it doesn't it doesn't really bug me but that's just how it's it feels yeah. when i look at it i'm yeah. just like damn i really what i look like is really who i am i guess and i didn't if i would have just known i don't know if it would have changed anything but just i could tell in the footage i really am just act i think i'm black and white that's just <laughs> what i really think yeah you know? yeah huh. so it's 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 like and I'm glad that at least I'm black because I was like, damn, bro, if I'm not black, I've been saying some crazy. I've been not thinking I'm black. I've been, saying, I've been thinking I'm black for real. And so thank God, you know, my dad, he is black, but he's from Ohio and he looks pretty intimidating, you know, in photos. I'm like, damn, I, I thought my dad was kind of intimidating, but I know him and there's no photos of my biological dad really even smiling or nothing. Yeah. I'm pretty smiley. And I was yeah. just like, I don't know. And he's out there in Ohio and it's just like, little gnarly because he they they it was like a rebound so she just like accidentally had a kid with this guy mm. like it was like she was with somebody broke up rebounded with this guy just to hook up and they accidentally had a you know a kid and he was like oh hell no nah. but he he th left her because he thought he had a kid coming too let the kid and, out. Yeah. and then when he had the other kid they ended up not being his it was like a trick it was like he could have stayed with yeah, her, yeah. But he bounced, thinking he was gonna, ha you know, because it was tricky. They wasn't even supposed to have that, yeah, happen. Some more so, COVID shit, yeah, or something, some shit like that. Yeah. So that was like, damn, I was never even really. And, and so when they, didn't, she just didn't have the means. I, I feel like I don't. And that she was hella young, yeah, not too young. I mean, people obviously have babies younger than she was. I think she was like twenty or something. But she also, I don't think her mom and dad were really open to like having a family probably for her to be she's started. filipino yeah yeah so it was like, like pretty strict and just, that, yeah, yeah and then different. i don't know if it was maybe because he was black or just because they weren't really together they didn't really even know him or whatever they didn't want him to be her to be or whatever yeah. i don't know no i bet i mean I so bet it's crazy because it. then when I, tri I trip out on it because it's only four years later that she had my brother and then decided to keep him so yeah. i'm like you don't know what anybody's going through what those four years could mean but you're just like, damn, four years isn't a drastic difference as to choosing, like, being there for someone or not. And, you know, she always could feel the way she does as far as regretting those things. But on my side, it's just like we're pretty close in age. And, pretty yeah. and his name is Quentin, and my parents were going to name me Oliver or Quentin. Great. And then it, my dad didn't like Oliver, obviously, because that was the English side of my mom throwing it out there. And then his name's Q, so my name would have been Q, and we would both would have had the same name, yeah. which is pretty weird too. <laughs> like, That's super there's some weird. weird shit that just like happened through all that, but I didn't even know I had a story that much, like, cause I just, I always grew up just riding bikes, so I always even thought like I didn't have much like not importance to my life, but just like no real story as far as like, I didn't come from the gutter, I didn't come from, I did come from. A small home and but i had a good home you know yeah. and i had a and now that i know what happened i was chosen to go to that home yeah, to be yeah. safe and be the way i was brought up and and she kind of would like take credibility for like oh that's your that's everything i ever wanted for you but that's not you couldn't have told that's what would have happened you know yeah, so yeah. she's she does try to take credit as far as like i'd made the right choice. Yeah, yeah i made the right yeah. choice and that was the blessings i've always 
prayed for you and yeah. you know and thankfully i always did feel like it's i had to something hard getting, to hear, though, yeah I feel like. but i feel like i did get, have a lot of good luck on my side in a weird way too because well your parents spiritually, are amazing. yeah my yeah. parents always had my back and spiritually I always felt like things just happened my way for good reasons just because i just either praying for it or just wanted something good for these outcome out of it and yeah. it's like maybe you know other people in my life i didn't know obviously my whole story but I had people praying for me in my life too. Yeah, so maybe yeah. probably made things a little stronger as far as like manifesting and wanting all these things that came to me, you yeah. know, but it is hard to hear because you're like, damn, you sacrificed it to be like this. I mean, how could you have ever rolled the dice and think it could have turned out this way if it could have just been a whole nother way too, you know, because yeah. my parents could have, what if my parents weren't as good as they are or cool as they are or gave me the option to even, you know, ride a bike or see where my life could have taken me with it, you know? So, yeah, there's yeah, so many variables. So, yeah, so, much so that's why it's just a lot. But being the age I am, I can take in all this and assess it this way as an adult rather than just kind of lash out and think of it as like being my teenage years or something where I don't understand. But now I still cannot understand it, but be okay about it because I can talk about it with my wife or talk about it with my family and ask my dad questions now or whatever. Yeah. Like, because they always say, if you have any questions, ask us. It's not like, there's really nothing to hide once that was out on the table. Yeah. Because that was like my dad, me and my dad were as close as I feel like I could ever be with anybody. So he already knew, you know, that that would be really hard. You know, mm -hmm. he came over crying. Like, I never see him crying. So it's like to see the strongest man you know crying, especially being as old as we are. I didn't know what the hell happened that day. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? And it was that, but I could feel how that would be so... T tugging on his heart because he wanted to do it for so long and now that i'm starting this family it, it, he felt like he couldn't let it go any longer because i'm starting mine yeah you know and i was starting to ask questions that he couldn't answer yeah. you know like is my son like what's in your dna like do you have any history of illnesses or anything yeah, or, yeah. that has nothing to do with who my kid was gonna be they can't just be lying to me forever about that kind <laughs> yeah. of shit yeah. like you know yeah. or whatever so eventually and they felt like natalie she's pretty smart that she like knew they kept saying like i don't know she'd come over and she'd be like questioning us and looking at us funny sometimes and sometimes she would and she would kind of look at our dynamic and she's the only outsider to ever be inside of our family like yeah, that so yeah. we'd go home and she'd be like that's not how our family was that's not how we talk more like this or we do and i would be like what i don't even know anything would be different like that but it wasn't to say that she was depicting that's what's going yeah, on yeah. but they felt some type of pressure along the lines of that and the questions that were coming up and just like just all that shit you know so it was just weird like the same. and yeah, she always kind of asked me right when we met like are you like asian and black? like it's just funny i was like no <laughs> i'm not asian and black like you want to meet my parents i'll bring you to the house right now and you know she met him and still i think she always had that like and i think they felt that yeah because i don't know no one's ever really been that close to us to like really ever like look at us and you know as well, a family. I mean, it's crazy how it works though, because like you know? Pat's Pat's dad was, is Japanese, mm -hmm. and it's like Pat didn't necessarily look Japanese. I know he so doesn't really. Like, yeah, that's it, true. It, but you know, DNA is crazy, so mm -hmm. it's like at a point you could definitely be like, well, it makes sense. But like, it tricked uh, why me. Why would they lie to me? Yeah. You know, like, and it tricked it, me. It wasn't like I could look in the mirror and be like, Mom, Dad, like I really don't look like you guys. It tricked me for so long. I'd still believe it right now if yeah. they didn't tell me. Yeah. Like I really yeah. look yeah. in the mirror and I really could like make myself believe, oh, my cheekbones like my mom or this like my dad and just like really believe it, yeah. you know, yeah. because I ain't. And it's crazy. My well, whole, your mom and your dad yeah. look so different than each other. That, that too. Could be like, oh, that just made me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That too. Because I always. Yeah, I've known you and since no like one five, ever really ever threw like, that out at me either. Yeah. Other than Everyone. Natalie, it looked, it looked perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so no one ever really kind of like made me suspicious of any of that. I mean, why would but you? It was just why like, would you? You know, like it, it's always it's always the same. But yeah, crazy. But it is crazy, yeah, and it it's just nice. like I didn't even know I had that much going on. <laughs> I was like, dang. Would you I have rather known? Had yeah, I had a story <laughs> this whole time. Would you have rather known early on after? I don't know. How far are you? Like I don't know. Like I just said about being assessing it the way I can now, it helps me. And like being a dad now it helps me understand why it could be so hard to. But also going that route, I'm going to be so opposite and so open and so different than that now that I know yeah. what happened. So now it's done shook me the whole other way to even damn near probably tell Kai really young that I'm adopted and let him know what's up rather than just him 
I don't need to leave him in the dark in that sense either. But that's how it's m- making me lean towards just being more honest, just because everything in my whole life with us was honest besides that. So that's why it was like, damn, like, yeah, just not played yeah. as a fool, but like, they didn't tell other people about it, which was cool, but it was just like, damn, like, that's why I think hurt my dad the most because we have such a tight bond that it was like, it's probably scary. Yeah. For him, yeah. you know, and be like, am I going to lose a, f- a, a portion of this relationship with Chad right. based off of Yeah, of that's what trip. he always thought. Yeah, that's 100%. what he always thought. I mean, that, makes, and, uh, that just, makes sense from their perspective, yeah. you know. I mean, and it just sucks to just know that there was any secrets behind my head, my head or whatever. Yeah going on to secret's like tell out, me about secrets it. out of love though yeah yeah i know that's what that's it is it's like a secret a, out of love I know. Yeah. yeah but it's like yeah. at one point you have to say it yeah. you know right before and that's you're a, having a kid yeah. and stuff like you have to yeah. let you know there's like a time where you have to so it's like it's kind of like a secret out of love just to make sure that the growing up was yeah. there was no lashing out yeah. no rebelling because it did make you who you are right because i mean it could have made you who you are in a different way i just don't know so yeah. that's why i'm like i almost don't want to but hey it worked, say i wanted to know when i was younger because yeah. then my life could be different yeah. or whatever like i just i was flowing with it and nothing really did change besides the information it's not like the relationship changed or it just made my curiosity also spin a little because now i had to know who was my real i can't be on earth and not know who birthed me or who yeah, i was inside yeah. that is weird like mm-hmm. and i spent so much time watching my wife grow kai so i'm like somebody cares about me because when you grow inside of somebody you don't just have no bond with with that yeah and yeah. somebody's wondering about me and they're probably wondering who i am and what i'm like so i just that's what just tugged on me so much to just did figure your it biological out. mom know who you were until you reached out to her did she like no not at all no, nobody knew they didn't know anything because so that's why they were when just you get adopted out. they change your name and it's all yeah you can't, you, look, you can't look them up unless i do so mm. i can reach out but i still it was super hard to do that still too because her last name could be changed it's still it's just like untelling it's like how did but she's it? not legally allowed to reach out to me as the, it's supposed to be the other way around how long yeah. after you found out it had only been like a year, oh, pretty so much. Before you, I found before out, you I like, for. yeah. I mean, that's a good yeah. amount of time. Well, I yeah, mean, I sat a, on it for a second because yeah, yeah. I was so thrown off. Like mm-hmm. all of a sudden, your life just feels like it's just you're just thrown this whole twist, right? Yeah. So I was just letting it sit, and I don't know if it would like make me mad or just make me. It didn't make me. I don't know. It made me think a lot of different ways. So that's why I had to get to the bottom of who it was that, because it really it was making me feel away was wh- who it was and what happened or like because yeah. yeah. there's a million stories for what that could be. Yeah. So I was like, I just need to know, and Crazy. so that shit just yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I, it, like it, I never knew. Yeah, it was like a wild thing. Do you think now knowing that you're adopted, do you think you could adopt? I think I could, yeah, yeah. But I feel like give give another kid the same chance. Yeah, I feel like I could, but I feel like if I, I don't know. Like at the same time, I'm just like, obviously, I want to have my own family and yeah. own kids. Yeah. But for the chance that I was given, that and that chance could be given to somebody else that needs it like that is like, I ain't even know I was a part of something that I had. I wasn't even really open-minded to that even being a thing i wasn't thinking about foster homes yeah so i now i am super more like you would say yeah more open and knowledgeable i guess i guess about that because it made me feel a way to even be a part of that community and not know i was (laughs) like what like my wife and i talk about it occasionally, but it's scary it's so scary you know like you don't know you know it's like you get a a dog, you know, yeah, you know, a dog yeah. has a personality. You get a kid, Everybody, it's like, yeah, is holy, different. Holy shit! So and so that's the thing too. That's why I told my dad. I was like, you know who I was the whole time. <laughs> like yeah. you could have told me. Yeah. You know I'm not bad. Yeah. You know I don't act no type of like. If anything, it would have just made me trust you even more, even more than I trusted you than I thought I could trust you. Yeah. It's probably you know? just going so well though. I know. Like, we don't want to throw this. <laughs> I know. Like let's I let know. him grow. We've gone this far. Let's yeah. let him grow up. I feel like that's 18, what it was. Eighteen yeah. maybe is. And like that's the birthday they did yeah. have a plan. Okay, yeah. eighteen. And, and it then was, it was like, like they're like in eighteenth yeah. birthday was so good. We saw you were so happy, and we just didn't <laughs> want. I'm just like what? Then we oh, said okay. So, then they're like, like oh, you have sympathy for him. Yeah. Sounds like then they're like boom twenty one. We'll tell him same thing. Yeah. They just and then it's now I'm having a kid, so it was like off. It was just the. That's and my I mean. mom is crazy. She was down to take it to the grave. 
<laughs> she was like, don't even tell him now even because it got so far. And she thought I was going to be pissed because there had been like times around that time being figuring out my house and just all this life shit where yeah. it was like I had gotten like not tough on my dad, but man to man had to speak to him. Yeah. Like, look at him in the eyes. And so that, and from then, intimidated them. I'm like, don't tell him. He gets mad. Or not mad, but like, yeah, I'm not trying to tussle with my, you know, like, because <laughs> I was, I'm not just like, oh, dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're right. yeah. You know, they. I'm like. You guys had an argument. Yeah. Nice we're just argument. standing yeah. eye to eye yeah. where it's like, oh, shit. So now my mom was even more like, don't even say, don't even bring that up because it's like, <laughs> he might, might. And it's like, you guys know me, though, for yeah. real. Yeah. But any younger i could have taken the info like that but now i am a man so yeah. now you did fight that like telling me could be that and i yeah. think that's what it was like he came over not knowing how i would take it but i took it as like i love you you know you're my dad but damn you know yeah it's a lot to process it's a lot to process no but what. i'm not gonna like put you in a headlock over it or like <laughs> come on dude like it's not that and you guys know that you know but they don't i guess you yeah. know because it's like as a parent they just didn't know and it had been too far. Now I am a man to tell me. Versus like I could have taken it so much different at any other age being under their wing, yeah. you know, like that. I have no other, there's no other way I can take it than to my p parents, you know, telling me that that's the situation. What am I going to do? Run away from them? You know, I can't. Yeah. They're, they're the only things I have. And that was the thing in my life that always worried me for some reason. Like I would always pray and be like, please don't take my parents from me. Like for some reason, parents meant a lot to me because I don't have a brother. I don't have cousins. I don't have, and I do technically, yeah. but they don't, they're not all around me. Yeah. And I'd be like, fuck, like Tyler Ruiz's mom might have to take me in if I ever needed. And I was already worried about not having parents, not knowing I didn't have parents yeah. in my life. And that's a weird thing. Maybe I must've just felt in the energy of just yeah. being on earth of yeah. just like being so scared or being so thankful for my parents. And I still, part of my prayers are <laughs> thanking my parents to be for everything, you yeah. know? And yeah. it's like, and yeah, they've crazy. been it's that crazy to with the, Yeah. Two months, he's like a couple months old when you're yeah, thinking. You yeah. Know, and or like, even like know. four months, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but it's just like, know. it is great. But they did. And that's when my, when that so kind of get kind of like oh what the heck though because they tr they made me feel like they're kind of like these gods to me in a way of like i don't have nobody but them kind of you know like they didn't let me feel like it's okay as far as like like for some reason it's just like they just made me feel like I'm, we're not going nowhere and we're always gonna be here yeah but for some reason i just had to, you watch movies you're a kid you know you think you know yeah, what if yeah. i get kidnapped or what if whatever the hell yeah. it's just like but what if and it's just they gave me so much strength of like knowing nothing would happen and nothing did god forbid happen but it just like i don't know they always made me feel like they're all i have yeah like literally yeah. which is like crazy but with I mean, the bmx community as far as that too i have so many friends and family as far as that so i always had other close friends that's why they're like my brothers to me because i didn't have anything to grasp other than my parents you mm -hmm. know like and i didn't have that other great of friends and just being friends like bmx had the best of the friends that i could have ever like asked for you yeah. know what i mean yeah so I then to they, reach out be like darcy or kenny could have my back you know if yeah. like something you know and i know that that could be a thing and i know they would have my back if that was a thing because it everyone's like family to me in that sense like that but i had to really wonder these things being young and i'd always I don't even know why I would wonder those things. Yeah. And it's like, was it just because I just, was I scared that I did, feel, that I was abandoned and I felt that way and I just. I feel like it could be two reasons because I don't probably know. most only child parents are going to, it's going to be more of a crazy connection of like, it's just us. Yeah. Or there's that yeah. like, that bond that got broken in the beginning where that, the motherly bond. Yeah. You're, you're and that's why. You're breastfeed and you're that's what I'm saying. Yeah, for I such a long that. time, but they gave you yes, up yes. to the adoptive family. So there yeah. was, there could have been like a, that's, that like biological bond that mm, just, you mm -hmm, know, you had this broken. weird feeling that yeah. you didn't know about. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Think I think, that's that's part, I think it's part of that. I mean, not that I had like a, a I didn't have a perfect childhood, you know, I had a pretty rough childhood actually, but yeah. So it's like, I didn't necessarily have that same, 
feeling of like what you were talking mm-hmm. about like oh don't let it take yeah my don't take away. my you parents know, like, away like something that like that and i'm an only, but I, i'm an only child but okay so yeah. but i mean it could be that that chemical bond yeah, you know, know that they talk about where it's like the laying on the chest but you know what too like i it's did like stay one getting that other. taken getting that taken away at yeah. a crazy age i think there is like some science behind that mm-hmm. that like, or like i think so too the, yeah. loving your parents so much and they're you're the only child i think it could be one or the other or both yeah 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 because being an only child and like you and your parents you know the the bmx racing yeah. like you were a little pack i know yeah. yeah but then i came from a foster home so i did stay for however many i don't know if i was right away it, you Adopted, know i didn't yeah. go that's what i mean so like i was so had, that feeling of separation. being away from my foster home even yeah. could be like mm-hmm. now i'm because there's photos of me with this little white kid and i'm playing like i'm sitting on his lap and he says there's like letters to me at the end talking about we love you chat or my name was christopher we love you and wish you you got because i got picked by my family we wish you the best and we pray for you so all these i have also the foster family praying for me in life too and i kind of want to find them yeah. almost and f- them to me mean a lot to me because in the photos i have photos of me like sitting with them and you could tell they like cared about me and there was like another little foster sister her name was natalie it's hella weird <laughs> but it was like all these little white kids around me that i was in oceanside a foster family in oceanside and i don't know who that that's family a huge was. medium too because you could have been like i remember as a kid going to like a foster home and it mm-hmm. wasn't like a with parents it was you know like kids and little dorm rooms yeah. almost like like a, a pound yeah. for kids yeah like it was kind of but i think it was pound, not i think this kinda... was like a home i was in yeah so, yeah. so it wasn't as yeah you had that middle so ground. i think being from that even is another abandonment of like don't take you know so then now that i just have my mom and dad i'm oh, like yeah, so i don't want anybody ground. to take me for real again or like i just don't want to feel that all i have is my mom and dad now you know it's just i think it was all these stages of the first the first part you know, the breastfeeding part, boom, that's gone. Then boom, a foster home. Then mm-hmm. boom, that's gone. So it was like, boom, twice. So now my parents felt like that's all I have. Please yeah. don't take them. Yeah. Maybe that's how I felt. I don't know. Probably. But that's just how did I could think. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm just trying. Sorry, I was getting, but, in, the, I was getting in the Google. In the no, Google, yeah. In the Google black hole. And I mean, there is, a, I didn't. Uh, See, I don't even Google deep, then. But, yeah, but, 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 but yeah, I mean, there's something. There's something. Yeah, there's there some is science. something. There's oh, some science. Yeah. And there, it, yeah, because oh, that's yeah. why that's what made me so development of stuff and all, attached so. to figuring everything out. Because yeah. I just started a family, so you know yeah. what you go through when you watch your wife be pregnant and you go through everything and you know how she feels of like you know you, um, you know there's so like the I science to where it's it out. like the, the when the kid comes out, it looks a lot like the father, so the father feels connected to it because it's like. There, there's so much like right. random stuff where you're like, that's fucking real. Because it is the, mom, real. the mom is so connected because of nine months and yeah. all that stuff. And yeah. just, the, and the baby needs the mom in the beginning or the dad's off to the sideline, but it yeah. the babies tends to look like the father when it comes out. And it's like, it's like, that's just like some fucking it, yeah. magic. It is weird. It is you magic. Know? Like it, it's insane. So, so it, just all it, those reasons. I'm it's a pretty cool chapter now though, because yeah. you yeah. went from like just mom and dad your small small family and yeah. now you have randy and stella and you have natalie and kai but now yeah. you have this other biological family to explore yeah. and learn about so yeah. like you, have, you have like three yeah. three things yeah. well natalie's from, family's huge and natalie's too family. you know yeah. and i hang out with them a lot so it's yeah, like, like yeah, four have, families have the from biggest having, fa- having just yeah, two having people just two people know. yeah yeah and i have my parents family too i mean in detroit they're gonna come visit again too but i'm just not as close with them because mm-hmm. it's just like we're not far away or, yeah we're not in town to yeah, hang. Yeah. but other than that it's like yeah i do feel like i have a lot more family i have a lot more people in love around me which is like crazy to start from just two people that's just what that's what life's supposed to be i think you know obviously yeah. is to just grow in, the, in those ways but i just never knew i had a story so when i fucking <laughs> look at that footage i'm just like even the footage yeah, of we like got here to even the quick. frame promo shit yeah like yeah when i got on premium and i'm like just turn pro and i'm like just when I look at myself then, I'm like, I look so Filipino with that hat and just the way I'm smiling. And like which at the one, time, which I one should I click? Think. Winter edit? Let's Shit, on, what are these? Edit. What are these? Claremont This homies. is your channel. Oh, these are the go down a little bit. At free flow. Oh, you go were, to self edit. You know, you, know you were the first unclicked guest ever? Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, the volume was a I was looking loud. at all the unclicks and you're the very first one. Wait, what? Yeah. The very Wait, first on ever, when we did it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very first That one. was the very first, uh-huh. what? 
That was the very first one. So yeah, this is I, like technically the first podcast you've done since then. You've been on a news ones and Saturday. Yeah, and but not in. with you guys. Hell yeah. 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 I want to. Yeah. Since well, this wasn't. Time. I mean, I'm dude. I, that story is incredible. And I, <laughs> I like we were thinking. Like, I didn't even oh, think I was we'll going to sit... talk about it. To oh, be honest, shit. I just yeah just talking about it because when I look at that yeah, footage, right it just I look so little and just like. Got the Gary, is that the Gary Young McNeil frame? Yeah, right I got that frame. I won it at a contest. That orange one. <laughs> Shit, people know me. I was on that orange frame for a little bit. Tan and orange, right? Tan and orange. Yeah. That was one of my favorite frames. And then that red one was on, I was on Formula. So from racing, that had a connect that made me a freestyle frame and eventually it crinkled. But uh, <laughs> it was like a little custom bike. Oh, I don't know what's going on. It was going crazy though. It was playing. I don't know. It, won, it wanted there. to play. It wanted to. And then for some reason, it just kept skipping there. That's weird, Vimeo, though. Vimeo's How was weird. it going to play yeah. and then skip it 27 seconds? That is just weird. I'm gonna skip it. So dark, oh, there we go. Oh. Look. It's Dang. playing now. See, downtown, I've been in the streets. Demo and y'all, see? They know, though. Demo and that, that spot was I'm crazy. Just I'm just that, that's be, that spot was crazy. What is, what is it playing again? Vimeo is broken. You know who I used to ride with, too, is all the dudes in Chula Vista, like Andre you know sbl yeah. edits yeah so that was like i just i actually was like riding street so much it just felt like i was just playing i guess like a kid playing in the streets but the whole time i was really riding street do you remember andre and all them yeah, yeah. so i'll just be riding with them a lot Lashawn, obviously vimeo's broken it is broken i don't know what but the you hell could is happening here that, but. but yeah because i feel like you raced and then you're you were I getting just burnt kept, out on that, but your playfulness was yeah, street just riding. Yeah, kept playing, yeah. But then the skate park kind of gave you, like, direction. Yeah, I remember your dad sure. taking you there, and yeah. then it was like, okay, this is your path. Yeah. Like, there's, there was yeah. contests and all this stuff to follow. Mm -hmm. But then it's funny because you kind of did full circle, and then the playfulness back in the street is yeah. what, like, really... Because, like, technically, is the foundation of when I whole, started riding the park career. stuff, it was a little scary for me because I just... It wasn't really my lane, and I already kind of knew that. So, like, then, like, the PlayStation Am Jams and all that shit, I was just fucking trying to do the foot jam whips and stuff yeah. like that and it'd give me hella points because i'm doing technical stuff so <laughs> it just kind of leaned my you're whole almost lane. like garrett in that sense i just where wanted like, to do smaller stuff that just you guys rip park but you did your own thing and you were so good that it was like you were doing what no one else was doing i didn't know i was doing anything no one else was doing it just but it separated me in contest like foot jam whip and hang five runs was like, like yeah i know when you were doing that it was like but, unheard of where is that but i didn't want to that's a national city what? I mean, I'll, at the trolley station. I don't know if it's still there it's like that. that. Definitely not. There. <laughs> but it was cool. <laughs> I feel like we would have seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Man, that's the OG 15 spot. 15 years. <laughs> I had an animal hat on right there, too. I love the streets. A vital shirt. Psh, mm. Come on, Kyle Carlson. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you go. Ooh, Linda Vista. How old are you right here? Shit. Like 14, 13 You're or 14. so little. I know. I just looked like a little kid all the time, so... Muscle, muscling the bike yeah. manual opposite 180 i didn't know what i just wanted to turn that way i didn't know it was like opposite like that <laughs> was, let me just manual and then 180 this way instead who's filming this shoot a bunch of different of my friends but i think Lashawn even would grab the camera tammy would grab the t camera uh, that's andre, andre. Yeah. Razi would grab it was just random people i'd just be like yo can you get a clip and i loved filming and editing so i made these edits for myself too so I've just been like filming and editing forever. Chad, like all my Instagram Chad the content. Tiger. Chad the Tiger. Mm -hmm. Me. Yep. Chad the Tiger. Still my email. <laughs> it is. Yep. This is in uh, right by Tyler Ruiz's uh, apartment. And he had hella rails and we would start hitting rails. I'm like, dang, bro. We came from playing in the grass to like hitting <laughs> the rails right here. That was my first big bar spin down a set. <laughs> so I was like. I yeah. wanted to go way up there, and I got there, and I was like, no, that's too high, and I just threed off right there. <laughs> like, but yeah, see, I wanted to do technical stuff because it made more sense instead of actually whipping across the whole box. Who's, your, who's your favorite bike rider at this time? Garrett was definitely probably. Garrett already? I think, I, was, I think I was already on Garrett. Who's your first favorite Because if I'm rider. doing bar spins, I'm just like, first favorite bike rider? Damn, you're about to hit that See, rail. that's what I'm saying. 
Yeah, that's a <laughs> sick little rail. It's probably still there. That's definitely an apartment I complex don't know. rail. Yeah. It's like the token. I want to say complex. Garrett because I'm doing bars and whips, so yeah. I'm like, it had to have been watching. And that. you're 14, so this is probably like right when Garrett's Nike. Yeah, like I, he was super influential to me, and Mark Webb and all those people at the time, Mark Drew Bazanson, right. all those yeah. people. You yeah. know, park riding. I, that's why I'm thinking so hard because it maybe wasn't even street riders. It was like park riders too. I mean, I loved Edwin and stuff, but that just directed my whole like style more so not like it was like some of the riding but i was so in the park like dennis i loved riding watching dennis's yeah. riding well it's also like it's also too, too probably at this time you were like early internet you see 6.0 helmet. Oh, helmet oh that tells yeah. you it all that helmet at the end I yeah fat ass 6.0 sticker like, the internet that's all it meant there like, was there was dvd parts and there was internet parts yeah. at this time yeah. you know so it was like dudes like edwin didn't have i know stuff online i know that much. that's true yeah so it's but like, then i did know about the scavenger videos and stuff because yeah. we had the hard copies so you oh, actually okay. watch the dvd yeah but and be hella inspired and go try to ride at night yeah. and try to be act like but it didn't being a San Diego is not New York, so it didn't always feel exactly like that. But just riding street at night made me trying to, you know, relate the two. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. But as far as riding, riding, six point oh, that whole video. And see, if I'm doing whip taps, Mike Spinner, I don't even know. Maybe really? I'm. I don't even want to say, but I, you want to say so it's is, what for, I watched. For the just, people at home, this is what's yeah. known as a DVD. Yep. Yeah. There's, you open this up and then there's a yeah. this disc inside. You bear, laptops don't even really have that anymore. Yeah. And so. now you have to buy this thing off of Amazon. It's I, like $15. Yeah. The external disc drive. Yeah. yeah. I have one of those. And then since it's an old USB, you have to connect it to something else. <laughs> wow, look at that. Dude. <laughs> it's too old It's school. crazy. It's like a record now. Yeah. Guys. Why does it get so outdated so quick? Jeez. Jeez. I was, I was going to just like rip it and like add it to the... And then I'm like, yeah, ah, so let's do the, the old style of like this is putting dope. it in here. It's cool. This so... Is... Um, it's real shit though. That's like I just who, who, watched Glenn, it so Glenn much. made this. Glenn made this. Yeah. Video, Glenn yeah. made this. Shout out Glenn. And then uh, Dennis doesn't like this video. No, I like it. It's just uh, oh. pretty embarrassing. It's he would call it cringy <laughs> for his because he's just yeah, young, you know he's young was, him. Yeah. And I feel like all young footage of us is just you don't ever. Really and I was so young, like. But you don't know you're doing nothing. I didn't like, know we were know? making a DVD really. <laughs> like you know, I really didn't get that. I didn't I mean, get they brought, that. And then it really happened. I was like, oh my like, god, like this is like, gonna live really, forever. Like, like that. Garrett and Nigel were like, they took it seriously. They, you could tell. And I was kind of like. They, they're putting a video part together and I had only filmed like sponsor me tapes and okay. quick edits and shit so okay. anywhere we went be like hang five <laughs> tail up the stairs you know I wasn't like put the part together so when I watched the part I'm like you didn't no. I had no thought process behind no a, a part you know well this is the problem oh with DVDs God. they but, do what like I've always said I got to go on all over the world watching Garrett and Nigel and kind of learned how to ride street through those two like I loved riding street but I didn't like hang out with real street riders okay, what's happening? too much until you Got in the streets yeah, with them like that. Exactly. Like, I was riding street, but it was with, like, kids, like, playing around like you were. Like, and then I was yeah, like, you don't really realize you're riding. You're not really yeah. riding street. So then all of a sudden, I'm on a trip, like, every other week or yeah. whatever with Garrett Reynolds and Nigel. And I just but you were that. whipping off shit, and then you realized you, yeah. like, you, you start tapping He was whipping off the in. quarters at Claremont. Right. Basically. Yeah, like, I loved <laughs> yeah. I liked yeah. riding everything. And I was riding with, like, Chris Hervan. Yeah. I was riding with street riders. But then all of a sudden. Tammy, was, too. Yeah. Know? But then there's yeah, Garrett and Nigel, and they're like my age. And I just think, like, oh, I got to try and be as good as him. And then fast forward, they're like two of the sickest street riders yeah, ever. I ever. didn't really realize that either. So I'm very thankful to have got put just in that being situation. a part of that. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. And that's why I think you shine so much in this video because I could feel the the part I relate to the most, like the fun and the just, you just do your tricks, the Cali in you and just everything and just the fun beat you even use. And even though it's like a whatever song, you would, but <laughs> it's, it's all that that makes it, like you would say, like you, these parts you would, you would say you still love today that you know are whatever in a video part. It's still, maybe that's what yeah. made it hit even harder because you are with these cool ass people too. So it's like, yeah. damn, boom, Dennis is in here. Boom, you're forerunner. Like, I just want to yeah. see <laughs> you yeah. a part of it. And you that made it drive so much cooler. Part of this. Nah, this, there was no forerunner in this. <laughs> but you know what I mean though? Yeah. Like, I just want you to like be a part of that and to connect you being a part of it made me feel like I was like, yeah. you know? Like, damn, the kid from Claremont, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> like, I the kid that. from Claremont's in there, too. To me, and it's like, like that is so know, dope. A chapter. And I got, yeah. I love, it, it was like a learning lesson. But then, damn, it's like, you yeah. know, would have definitely liked to go about it a little differently. But <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't choose those nope, things. To be, to be fair, like, Losi and Glenn probably told you 
they're like, yeah, this is going to be a video. They probably you know, did tell you. Bar, yeah. You know, yeah, and I was like, nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You probably said, shut up. In 2007, <laughs> yeah. You're crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to... But your, your parts today, you know, you've overwritten the, this this thing, yeah, so you don't got to cool. say it. Yeah, that's the DVD why doesn't it. even work anymore. So yeah. See? Dude, it worked And it's earlier. brand new. It like, worked earlier. It shows me it shows me the video just a little bit. It's probably that? online. Yeah, it is online, but I just really wanted the full quality if we're going to watch it. But we get what we get. We get what we get. Damn, that sucks. So the yeah. external thing don't work. No, no it. it works. It worked earlier, but <clears throat> I feel like yeah, all that all that influence from this video was like in that ra- that I riding you like... just seen. I'm doing like whip to tap. I'm doing like bars down, you know, a little five stair. Mm-hmm. I feel like it all is pieces of of you guys that in that video, but it's just how I want it to ride. And it's the stuff I was able to do. So it's like the way I can express it, you know, because I have different tricks than you guys, too. Wait, so why am I getting, getting audio from something? It's weird. Um, what? what? You can't find it. You got to pay for it. Nice. No. It's yeah, no, this it's thing is gone. <laughs> it's on here. I watched it earlier. No. Nope. This podcast is brought to you by Source BMX. Officially the world's biggest shop. They run the one of the best jams of the year. Mm-hmm. They have a distro in America and in England, so they are oh, worldwide. Yes. And one in Germany. And one in Germany now. They're just growing and growing. They have one of the sick, maybe the sickest team in BMX now all of a sudden. And they have uh, what, uh, I mean, I think this feature is pretty incredible on the site is the bike builder. You can go in here, you can build it off of pros bikes. They have Smiley's bike, they have Stark, Garrett Reynolds. They got Rayford, Mills, and then, you know, Kink Build, if you're looking to do that, custom BSD build, street, park, trail, and then you go ahead and go in here, and uh, you can modify it and change your frame out. So their website is high tech. It literally is. So um, you go ahead. And they got everything. So if you don't got a bike shop with everything right by you, here's your online bike shop. They deliver all over the world. Mm -hmm. Best prices, best deals in every part. Shout out to Source BMX for sponsoring the podcast and being a huge supporter of our BMX from the beginning. Since day one. Yep. And uh, now a word from... It's kind of crazy that my dad broke his bike. <laughs> he broke it? <laughs> and he rebuilt it. Yeah, that, that, that happened. I did. I did do that. So shout out. Shout out to Source. Shout out to Woodward. Shout out to Dale. Shout out to Cannon Appleby and his busted nose. Thank you guys for supporting Shut the podcast. You. Shut up, you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Bug. I love you. All right, bye. Nike six point Nike writing on the wall six point yeah. You are are you getting free shoes at this point? Um, I don't remember. You don't know. I think the video must have came out first. Do you have a single clip in this or no? No, no I never sorry. filmed for it. All right, but yeah, I probably had gotten something from Losi at this point. But after the video came out, not like any time before it. Yeah, you know, this was like the introduction to Nike to me too. This whole video. I was at the premiere, though, at the Midway. That was and sick. I was wearing a little 6.0 t-shirt. Yeah. I know that it was probably given to me. So I, don't... I remember like when we were all riding UCSD yeah. and Losi was like, is this kid putting on a show or is he like really <laughs> this good? You know, and that's when I was like, no, nah, this is him every day. And that's when I saw it click for him to like, we got to, I can't remember if like up- officially put you on flow or like oh, okay. thoughts of like, maybe he's going to be the next guy on. Did No, they told me I would never be on. I mean, that's, that's what Losi told me from the jump. I I could probably dig that email up. I ain't never going to be on. It's just a flow thing, you know, because they had you guys. So it said we had our guys pretty much in the email, but we'd love to just hook that's, you up. And I said, I would love to do that. I don't care. I just yeah. That made me feel a part of being with you guys still to just get what you guys are rocking. I feel like maybe for so. people listening, that's probably a gnarly statement no you know, yeah like it retrospect, wasn't but it, i feel like it, that's it was that. respect i didn't take it that yeah. way it didn't like make me give up and be like oh it was no, just like really it was real, up, no yeah it wasn't when that Spinner yeah. stepped away from being a pro bike rider yeah Losi i can't believe like, it chad's, chad's our dude yeah. just yeah. happened to be there and i Perfect think that's time. one of the things is losi kind of like prefaces that like hey yeah. let, like you're there you're not like six months away from being on the pro team so like if you want to do this let's do this but like that's the way he operated yeah that's how he was just explaining it so being truthful yeah, yeah it wasn't like he wasn't trying to shut my dreams down or nothing losi's really i wanted to work with losi i knew he was somebody i wanted to really work with one day just i would see his name on everything at t- at the time vital everything photo losi this losi i was like <laughs> who is losi i want to know this guy like so he i was just doing all this yeah. him and Do you, I, i'm not trying to air out losi's personal shit but what? you know losi's adopted too right 
No, I didn't really know that. You know, I was like in North Carolina. I don't know if I had figured that out yet, but I I think I did. And I was going to bring it up to him when we were hanging out, and I just never brought it up. But I wish I now I did because it's funny you said that. The more I do talk about it, the more I find out people are adopted, and it's more normal to me. It's so uncommon. But no one talks about it because it's not something you bring up. So it's like unless the conversation is brought up, then like now that I express it, people tell me all the time that they know someone that's adopted or that they are or that yeah, their family yeah. this that i'm like what yeah. so just the conversation made me realize that you know that it's more normal than i could have ever of thought yeah i never even thought about it i just thought i was just never had to think about it or something Definitely you know not. yeah yeah, yeah it's, so. it's cool a cool little thing the next time you guys no, hang out that's you guys cool have a lot of, no that's lots, awesome a lot more yeah, to talk about for than sure. you guys normally do so we, yeah i don't think we've actually conversated in person about all this you know yeah and i would love to me and him are so close i look up to him like he he is family to me like that you yeah, know yeah. Like, yeah. literally close. yeah so um mike spinner video part at this i point. always watched him yeah. i never skipped this I t- i'm telling you every fucking thing and because i'm relating like- to the manual pads and all this stuff it was like at the time i loved park riding too so it was like i just wanted to see everything i wanted to see it all i wasn't about to I wasn't just on some street stuff at this point. I was wanting to watch it all. Yeah, See, even was, the foot jam whips, like I like yeah. that stuff. So I can't even. I ha, I was watching this. Like this was crazy to me. Yeah, and, at and the it time, is crazy we were all, to me. Like still, just, you know, quote unquote street riders. Yeah, I was trying to fit in with the street riders, <laughs> and then Spinner wanted to do ramp stuff, so it was hard for him. So him to put this part together, you know, we never did park specific trips at all. Yeah, and right. Still put it together. And no, still you did. Some places, yeah, doing cool shit. Yeah. I feel like it would be appreciated more in, in retrospect I, I than mm-hmm. than at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and it's like sure. Spinner was winning contests at this time too, which is like putting out a, a video part with street. You know, I know. Honestly. He didn't even have to be riding like, like 50, this stuff. 50, you know, he could be like part, just yeah. like yeah, I don't even want to ride, and he's trying like, to get down. Yeah, one eighty whip is fucking like, sick. This was Owner his real of stuff. EBL Nutrition, yeah, <laughs> huge company, yeah. man. He yeah, did it. he did. So it. I will say, like, obviously, Spinner and I have had our little Damn. internet dramas <laughs> over the years. <laughs> yeah. But he was—he's incredibly was nice, and and uh, seeing him at Battle of Hastings this year was was super cool. And it's cool to see his like love for BMX is like shining oh, yeah. through in different oh, yeah. ways. So yeah, he texted me today saying he's going to Swamp Fest. Really? Yeah. Yeah. See, there you go. So he asked <laughs> what kind of alcohol he wanted. I wanted him to bring. I'm like, hell <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> he's already prepared. That's sick. Yeah, Spinner was always a What'd good What'd you time. answer? Whatever. <laughs> Dales. Well, yeah, Dales. Dales. Like, we already got the Dales on deck. Dales going to be there. Is that quad whip? Yeah. Yeah. That's and I, I swear, when I started riding Dew Tour, I was like, this is why they can quad whip. Like, the box set me yeah, so high, and I didn't want to jump that high. I was yeah. like, I'm scared of that box. Like, I don't want to double whip that big-ass yeah. thing. And, like, the ramps were insane i couldn't believe they were getting down on it garrett you guys dude what the hell and like they would shoot you so high in the air you're like yep you're gonna quad whip if you want to do all that yeah it's like a a better box than i had ever really ever hit in my life yeah ever atlanta florida (laughs) look how little you look dang little dennis (laughs) See, to me, you always looked older to me because you're older than me. So I was always like, dang, that's an older that's big funny. kid. I, forgot, yeah, like, I haven't like, seen the whole video in forever. I forgot all these little... These were the best parts. <laughs> these little things <laughs> in the middle. Best parts. <laughs> boom, boom, bar, bar. Ugh, back the other way. You're nasty. See, I love those clips. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't think anything of it. You're just riding. And that's the best part. Well, it goes back to your how-to video. You just kind of did them every, in every direction. Every yeah. way. Look at that early Trey. Guy. I love this Trey. I ain't going to lie, yo. I, I this is when I was like, yo, Trey Jones was this. steezy on this. No, the green bike, I hella wanted the matte green. Was that a fit? It was something. Might have been. Yeah, it was a nasty bike right there. It might have been a Chase d Hard or something. And he had a free coaster. Yeah, what the nasty. Hell? 720 to fakie. And then boom, Garrett's nuts. <laughs> just, this is sick. Yeah, dude. Dude, you can see is... how much you've, re- you've watched this I've video. I've watched You're... this video so much. <laughs> Audrey, made, I could man. close I my eyes and watch these clips. Recently. Like, I really watched this. we got to watch some re-up. Yeah, Harry I know. On one of the news podcasts. It'd be sick to have Harry Mayne on the podcast. I... One of these dude, days. and then when I started it's going to right. a freaking simple session, I started meeting these people. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like all the like European Nike team was crazy. Mm-hmm. All the European, everybody on 6.0, I was like, you guys are nuts. It's Simone, even everybody. I started seeing everybody when you start traveling. 
but crazy. Damn, you guys were in Dubai already? This shit was crazy. Losi would just point what the place hell? on the globe and Dubai. Australia. Look, yeah, oh, yeah. he was going crazy. Fine. Ooh, he had the filmy t shirt. I wanted that so bad. <laughs> I miss hanging out with Nigel. Yeah, me too. Dude, his his success is just fucking insane. Oh, it's insane. Spinner and Nigel. Yeah. Like in insane. Complete different ways. Yeah. Complete yeah. Yeah. different Complete ways. Insane. But yeah. They both are so successful. Yeah, they are. Mm hmm. What happened to you, Dennis? <laughs> Me and Garrett just still eating shit, riding rails. Yeah, you and Garrett. <laughs> Dennis, nah, you guys are gr uh, you guys the, the best way out. <laughs> Nigel's still riding, though. No, yeah, like, yeah I've for still, sure. I've, I've always, I've mm -hmm. always, you know. Been no, you guys Nigel, are the best so. examples, though. You and uh, Garrett. We took the. I took you guys the are all the out. examples of we what I ever it. looked at as a model of the BMX. And that's yeah. why I followed, like, I feel like I'm a mix of all you guys in a weird way. I, like, followed the career paths of you guys and watched damn near worshipped it without knowing i was worshiping anything i just yeah. loved it so much yeah and then it just made i loved it so much i got on the team with y'all and it tripped <laughs> me out i would be on the trips like i'm on a, i'm literally roommates with nigel huh. i started tri <laughs> i was like bro i've been how does how does worship i guess manifestation is really a thing because i would close my eyes and really wish i could be doing these things with you guys but i didn't think it would happen huh? you know yeah. you don't think that's really gonna happen and, and I was on trips with Nigel you guys. Nigel one up me right there. I what? That legend. Uh, <laughs> what, he made it to it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yep. And he always had, boom, crook. Crook, yeah. he was always good the progression, at those. Nigel's progression was real. Like, mm -hmm. it, like there was a, that, I always said that that was a problem within BMX is like that BMX tended to like, fault you for not progressing right. forever I and it's like dude was... people can pro progress yep. street riding and then somebody else takes over and yep. progresses after they do and they're gonna but progress and... yeah and it's like you yep. can't be mad at him for going out and still doing fucking half cap hell bars. no like, that's what street riding yeah. is and want, of course it, kids are gonna start doing it to manual and 80 bar and this and that yeah. that gets this video that way yeah because he's but, like a real he's the he's real, real cl yeah that's yeah. the classic real like this is classic, what you look at yeah. when you, you got think spinner, of street ramp rider the yep. california me look at the hard way 180 smith yeah. this is yeah. some technical yeah. shit you just gotta really sit there and really take notes on it and this is all i ever watched this low to the ground shit as much as you could do i love all that but then some he still goes crazy yeah. with three off stuff Go to flat, big rails. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's something a way that BMX needs to mature when mm -hmm. it comes to street riding. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like they, it's like it There's has different that levels the trail, to that. on the trail level yeah. and stuff like that. Like, and even on the park <laughs> shit, it's like yep. you can people can enjoy people's riding. You know, like a Nyquist. Like yeah. Nyquist doesn't need to yeah. be pushing the park. He doesn't need to do a, two does more bars. It don't yeah. mean nothing. And it's yeah. like, it's the like same just... for Nigel. Same for same for other dudes. Yep. Like, same for you guys. Yep. Like, eventually, it's like. You just got to appreciate your riding. For you're what doing it, is. it. Yeah. That you're still doing it. And then it's like you mold a type of riding that's like it's your niche. So mm -hmm. it's like how you just want to ride and it's how you express yourself. And it's with maybe sometimes without one upping or being so progressive as far as what is so cool at yep. the time. So it's like just being yourself and remaining that way for so long is a hard thing to do, too, because it people... There's times like I can't even believe I'll go to UCSD and I'm like I nosed up this fucking fountain for market <laughs> and I, there's no way insane. I can do that. But it's like that don't mean I'm not pro I'm not yeah, progressing yeah, or I'm yeah. not better in these ways. It's just you're gonna be on something that you're not gonna be on at another time. Yeah. So it doesn't you know. That you put that so much work to get there at that time, and you could get back there, but you forget about like, mm -hmm. oh, I didn't just do that. And yeah. I took like no, this, you were, hopping this high, an yeah. inch higher, an inch higher, yeah. until you feel like, so damn, you're... I think I can nose that thing. <laughs> Literally, yeah. So that was my favorite Garrett, all these. <laughs> all that. I love all that. Bro, crazy. I mean, literally, and this is how he rides. Garrett it's like you were just a generation riding. Generation of riders that rode like him. Yeah, he did. There was a dude. We went when we went to Russia together. There was the dude that was Russian. Guy, oh yeah, oh, and yeah. he literally had the Look, same the same the, everything. The, the blonde the and the black and the fucking yeah. zebra thing. And I was looking at Garrett and I was looking at the dude and I was like, and he's good too. Like he's Garrett. super good. Yeah, yeah. and it's like you have to be like good Garrett. to emulate somebody's style. You sure yeah. do. You can't and just be. I just remember emulating that. I remember just like think trying to think like what is russian garrett thinking right now mm -hmm. right next to right garrett. next to garrett <laughs> <laughs> he's probably trying not to look at him yeah but... it was so funny uh, dude yeah since i've been riding i feel like 
there was Mike Aiken clones and Garrett clones. Yeah, hasn't yeah. Really, there's been tons of other people. Stevie clones, maybe a little bit. Little bit. Little, little Garrett bit. Garrett and Mikey yeah. were yeah. the yeah. most. Been the most like mm-hmm. copywriters. Yeah. yeah. Or just influence. For good reason. You yeah. too. Yeah. You're up there. People try to do your thing too. Because they do it all. There's like, bro, Fernagel's a little spawn of you. Like, there's that people that are like, they do it all. And they're yeah, like, like I, 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 I told you. Because I, I watched this enough. I told you. There's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking forerunner clip. Come on, y'all. My parents' Damn. backyard. Boom, three tuck. Nasty. Spot's not there no more, I don't think, is it? It's like, I don't know. It may not be. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they built some new stuff over there. Austin Coleman. Damn. Ooh, Damn. that was, that was dirty. Of he was people so good. One hand, did we get in a one-handed whip? Yeah. Yep. On vert. And then boom, street clips. I love how it was this mix of just BMX. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is yeah. the best. It makes Seat you watch speed. it all. Like, you okay. Oh, Connor. Connor. Let's go. Yes, sir. Damn, his shirt yes. is tiny. Know. Did he have a little polo? <laughs> he had a little polo. <laughs> Nose manual, though. He was always, uh, he was like, I was like watching Connor at some point too, as far as riding. He was helping me progress so much riding with him. Yeah. Nose manuals, hang fives. <laughs> yep. Oh. Man, he I was barn in the grind. Him, but yeah. So much already. Oh, it's not easy back then either. <laughs> Boom. Spinner, man. Five fucking invert. Next clip, bringing home some chips. You guys are all just having a good ass time, bro. This is my favorite video. I haven't watched this in a while. I ain't gonna lie. It feels, <laughs> it feels good to be watching it. <laughs> it feels right. It feels like I should be watching. I have it's a spent crazy enough memory. time away. It's so cool that this is all documented to remember all this shit. I love it. I want, I want Garrett the tapes. Too, we want the raw tapes, Glenn. I Garrett know. motivated everyone because his energy was just on some other level. We're, like That's why we rode so much because Garrett would never stop. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're keeping just, up with him. Getting to the end and you had to, keep up with to him. keep going at night. And you're like, okay. Like He just made us all keep riding. He's still like that too. He pushed his whole fiends. They out there riding all the still time. Like he's, that. That, he's that guy. I'm not going to lie. Every time I hear this song, I think you're Me too. Part. <laughs> it's such a cl- it goes yeah. it's what it is yeah let me turn it up for the people we gotta probably <laughs> turn people. it does it mon it we gonna get the yeah, I'll turn it I'll turn it down I'll make it quick it's for the people yeah <laughs> wait what is it I don't even is this I don't even know is this the same song yeah, yeah it is that was Garrett's bike it just gets into this little jiggy oh, okay. part yeah I was talking about the do the D A N C yeah that part Thank you. It's the best. So happy I didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like about to, and you did. No, I'm like, I got right. you. I it's got down you. the street, right? Yeah. Spot still going. Yep. And you're up there still. Not that long ago, yeah. doing the same thing. Look, you night. Nothing changed. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Still doing. Still wearing <laughs> a headband. Just nuts, dude. You've been doing this forever. Yeah, this was definitely it's crazy. Oh, you was getting over it. I cased it. But you was getting over it. <laughs> <laughs> you was getting over it, though. I don't care. I cased it. Oh, there you are. Signature, you peddling at something. That's oh, wild. Oh. That shit is far. That's why filming video parts is good, though. Yeah, it is. This made me do so much new stuff. This is dope. Boom, to Manny. To nowhere. <laughs> this is hard, though. To nowhere. I don't, I don't know, though. It's hard. It doesn't matter. It never it ma- matter. See, I never thought it was to nowhere. Yeah. I just went, boom, man. the bottom of the, that ice, man. Almost made it. <laughs> Had about three more feet of the rail. Now you're switch ice and rails. See, oh, you going crazy. Yeah. Your street so riding's evolved. Like <laughs> <laughs> this made me want to ride in a parking garage so bad, though. Is and get a... because Garrett and Nigel were doing See? something? I'm like, all right. Get <laughs> Let me get this. Clip for you guys. Was, was Garrett ghost <laughs> riding the part for you at all, or was he just like letting He didn't help you? No. Nah, no. He was just riding. He was watching. He thought I knew what I was doing. So I was like, <laughs> no, he's did. probably like, you're I nuts. Yeah. You're whipping the double set. Three yeah. and over, yeah. Three and in somebody's backyard. Yeah, for real. Yeah, that, that that down web is nuts. Boom, bar tucks. I remember though, that trick used to pop off. I don't see nobody doing this much. I don't remember that clip. <laughs> You're doing I just like so a, much. A home, ad, a home ad clip. You're doing so of, much. Truck the set. A lot of bar spins off shit. Like, who cares? Famous ass. That, was, big that was the time period though. Yeah. That's just what it is. Tuck no handers, like we were saying. People don't do them as much. It shows you the era we're That's in. down the street, too. Mm-hmm. Right? Did you try to switch whip off that? In the intro. Yeah. Tried to switch whip off. Did you it. not get it ever? I don't know. And I then went you, back well, and you went back. Yeah. It for, I think my oh, yeah, you did. There's me at the bottom. 
Oh. That's you, Fudge? Yeah. I didn't know that. The sneak through. That was a film photo, too. That if I remember. Is my That's most nasty. In this <laughs> the wall whip. That is I've crazy. still never done that. Out of anything, what? That's like the one thing that I never did. Like again. to flat? No. Type on of like thing? a straight wall like that? You won't do it. You don't think you could do it? I, I would like to, but <laughs> that is the one <laughs> thing that, like, what? is like timeless for me in this part. Is that wall whip? You never did it again. A wall whip like that? No. I never seen one. I don't do think it. Actually, has. never see anybody really not a doing sick wall rag, whip. I don't know where. I <laughs> not a that, sick one out of. <laughs> that one might have been Gare influenced. Like, okay. He knew I was good at wall of whips, and he was like, "You should." Oh I shit! Think, and I just believed him. That like, was okay. legit. You know, I think that was. You never see that. This is. <laughs> that is. Crazy. You booted it too. <laughs> Thinking about, I'd be scared as fuck to try that right That's now. Where was that? Bar, bar what back. spot? That's Philly. Yeah. I thought that was. See, when I was watching, I thought you were in Europe or something. I don't know. It just looks so different. Hey. Hanger bar. <laughs> bar. You're crazy. <laughs> See, it's, st- it's still all the tricks, though. I don't care. Nope. Boom. And then the infamous. Everyone had to see this clip type Ooh. of thing at the time. Everyone had to see that. The biggest whip ever done. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest whip the ever. Biggest now you did ever. the biggest, biggest whip ever done. Yeah, it's not as embarrassing as I remember. See? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, cool, a, it's, it's a, a cool time period. It's, it's funny how it first, first, video, part, right? first yeah. video part. Yeah. I love that part. Wall Nobody knew what the fuck they were doing at yeah. their first video part. And and I didn't know what I was watching in that <laughs> sense. So I couldn't be like, manual to nothing. I'm just like, <laughs> manual, boom. <laughs> Whatever you film, I'm yeah. saying yes. That was sick. What is this six section? This was this something, something different. This is something just Nigel and Spinner went to. Some, okay. some Nike. It looks cool. This is the Olympics warm up. So what? it was like, it was what? the same, like, see where that figurine, I don't know if you can see it. The box, like, mm. in Beijing 08. That's that? Like, that's that. I didn't go to this, but, like, it was, Nike was super invested in, like, getting action sports into the Olympics in some mm. capacity. And obviously it took a while. Yeah. But. So it was um, since then. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, is that curveball thing still yeah, there? What the I mean, I'm not gonna ha- looks like no, it's, it looks not. like it's been there for like a hundred years. Nah, probably. I, I asked about it last time I was in Philly, and I think it's gone. Really? It's like it's hard to find. It's like at the bottom of a museum. Place. Yeah, it might still be there, and the people that I was with just didn't know about it's it. Blocked or something. Like he just bought everyone first class waffle shoe to that. prototype. Are they in, in, in fucking litigation over that <laughs> waffle sole waffle <laughs> shoe? Mm. 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 <laughs> Never thought about that. Actually, that's why I'm like, legit. I don't know. That Maxime? Been, that no. might have been Colin. Colin Maxime. Verniak? Maybe it was Maxime. Yeah, it, was, it had to be Maxime. Yeah, Maxime's a part. Of, he does look like how Colin would yeah. look too back then. Dude, there was a guy. Ooh. There was a guy at the Where's Triple Challenge at? event. Um, his name was Maxime Chalafour. Huh. And I thought it was Maxime Sh- 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 Chavron. Chavron. Oh, yeah. And because Beswick was like, Maxime Chavron's here? And I was like, what? And I was like, I was tweaking. Yeah. He is, Does he ride still? He still rides. Okay. He still kills it. But yours was a kind of on his thing. Looks just like yep. that style. That was yours? Yep. So quick. Christian. It's crazy to see how many like little Nike 6.0 kids were. That's why I wanted to be a part. It was just, I'm telling you, it was the end thing. It was like Nike was, you wanted to be a part of that so bad. It was the elusive little club Nike shit. And you guys all was wearing it. That I was wasn't fucking crazy. It. It's insane. <laughs> Style is dirty. <laughs> yeah. He did hard. Garrett, if, if, if one person should do no handers again, it should be I Garrett. Love, I love. He's still popping I mean, off, sure, though. he can still do it like as much as he wants, but like. I feel like they were regular. Yeah, they were regular. He does turn down his more repertoire. Than no hander for Tuck sure. Tucked ice cover ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the <laughs> best photo ever. Mm-hmm. That fucking ice one eighty look back from the other. I, I know. Just fuck, that ledge is <laughs> so <laughs> tall too. It was filmed like for the look back. Yeah, and, like the ledge is so yeah. fucked <laughs> to do that. Yeah, even like, with the look back though. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy miss you, bro. I love that bike when he had the Sunday. When he was on that bike, I was like, you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Tammy, I want to be like you, oh, bro. The, the blue wall, one. The wall even the blue ride one. at home Ave. Boom. He's Short-lived. He's been nasty. Damn, He's still Tammy riding go to... No, no I wasn't. Was, I think that was Maxime too. Tammy right. said I took his spot on Nike, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you took my spot, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, yeah, he was on it. Like. It was all on Nike, bro. I wanted to be a part of it too, so bad. Boom! Was that switch bar? Fakey switch bar right there. No, it was quick. Nigel, I was kind of. You sick. always throw bars both ways too. 
Look at you in the streets at night. I was like, Garrett's still right. Hanger on the ledge. You're nasty. Oh, why didn't you use this in the part? They just were like, mixed. They wanted another bar to flat. Can like, you let that, <laughs> let that guy out. Nora Cup. Probably one of the youngest Nora Cup video parts. Oh, one dog's there. out, one dog's in. One, uh, we'll let them both out. out. Yeah. Oh. You could just leave it a little bit open if it really comes down. This was game changing. I feel like when this came yeah. out, it was like, oh my god! Like street, I watched this streets, more than anything. Street something different now. Yep, I watched this. Like you can do all these tricks. Yep, shit. this was it for me, y'all. This was unlocked. This was the it all right here. <clears throat> you know, I whenever I see that wall ride, I think of it. This is not related to Gary. Billy Frenevsky doing the wall ride hard three. Mm. out of it and it, but it was like kind of a wall ride flourish like a cork <laughs> Hello. thing so ah, so early so great mm. he 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 had this shit thought out like he knew how to make he knew how to make a part yeah. he knew yeah. what he was doing he was like I'm you could feel it he, he's making this shit yeah so i'm gonna get the last part on this one real quick y'all mm. mm. <laughs> dogs out causing a ruckus because of these clips look how he's <laughs> sitting in that thing too Oh, I wanted to ride this spot too. He made this spot like the famous this is the one, right? spot. Yeah. That's how my CVS ledge felt to me, like my yeah. little spot. Yeah. That's his spot, the white rails. Mm, that was so high. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. This clip fucking. Oh, he pops this. <laughs> no one's even doing at the. Bro, these like are so. And, it was like him and Dave. <laughs> I was so high. Dennis knows. <laughs> these clips are like relevant yeah. today, so relevant still. Yeah. Like. These are so you could film any of these clips right now is acceptable. If this part came out right now, right this, now it's and this was a nobody it'd be stacked with sponsors. We'd be like this. Stacked, this we'd house. be like this fuck. Yeah, this literally. Be the next like, oh, who is this? Yeah, guy? Come literally. On Bring him right on now. Mm -hmm. This is Garrett when he was sixteen. <laughs> like if this part Dude. came out right now and it was somebody else, it'd freak everyone. It'd out. freak everyone out. That's it's gonna be classic. It's the best. Forever. This is clear. Don't. He just had the fastest hands ever. And he go to flat like a demon he would boy. Get a clip that Portland? Too. The Portland That's clip, huh? Portland, yeah. yeah. And what? I mean, that, that indoor park was Smith like Arthur. random oh. indoor park. In, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> in uh, Atlanta. Yeah. I've never been to Atlanta. I think we're going to do a cinema trip there, though. There's so. a lot of spots. I know. I want to go. I think the last time I went was for this. <laughs> I love that. That's so dope. I forgot to move the camera. That's the last later. time you went. You filmed that? Yeah. Dennis like didn't move. And then... <laughs> ooh, ooh, that love that. Boom, boom. Losi getting every photo in the back. This was kind of like when you were filming for Market Zero, like where Garrett would just sometimes, like, you know, good days, you get a few clips, but like you and Garrett was like, dude, I think he got seven fucking clips. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. He was like, just yeah, eating like, them like, up. Just yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Could be like, Where the world, the, like, yeah, he's had a good day and it's like noon. Yeah. And then it's just like, dude, and he <laughs> went to fucking midnight and he got five more. Like, five more. Four drank, th drank three sodas and fucking had a candy Kept bar going. and got four more. <laughs> Garrett used to fall asleep with his hand in like a bag of Doritos and a Coke next to the bed, like just so tired. <laughs> And then just like wake up and like Smart. just probably like not even and start trucking off stuff yeah. already. Yeah, I, probably it, just instantly. He was a puppy. Yeah, uh, uh, nose bar. I was crazy. He still is though because now he's healthier and he <laughs> rides more. For real, yeah. better than ever. This was like no nutrition, Garrett. <laughs> and look how and crazy it, it yeah. is. It's Living the best, Garrett. Sugar and Garrett, we're gonna need you to be a little unhealthy again so you could tap into this crazy fucking self. This for the people. I just. I drive by that loading dock spot every single day. It's that like was so fucked. Oh, like, was that the nose? That nose that was just so like ahead of its time. Like now, it makes sense. Yeah. But back then, it was yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why would you want to do that? Oh, ice bar ice is crazy though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that clip is dirty. This one hits. That uh, spot was so fucking. Good. <laughs> it was just flowing. Endless combos of that spot. <gasps> Boom. That's Utah, huh? Yeah, we went there right after finals of Dew Tour. That's how we did that shit. I was filming. That's why we did that. Shit. That's how we were doing it. Like he, we were rooming together, and he was like, "You want to go film me do this?" Oh, like, there it is. Ooh. After the fucking, he just wow. got probably podium in a Dew Tour. Still riding. Oh yeah. Skin clips. Still. What shoes were those? They should have made him his signature shoe. Those Aaron Surgeons. I love those shoes. They were like brick. They should have been his <laughs> Gary Reynolds shoe. Boom boom. Oh, best clip ever I've ever seen. When I seen that, I couldn't believe I seen that. 
when and he's I done see that it. on every video part. The last clip is always like, "Are you?" Every you can't believe you're last, seeing he what you're sure seeing. The last clip is almost like cool. Like, yeah. So well, did you guys have input on like? Did you guys see the sections and all that stuff, or was it kind of like? I mean, Glenn. Glenn is obviously at this point he's a seasoned video dude, and I know he kind of handled. I know from the ride days he'd be. Like, I trusted I, Glenn. I, I don't want to show people. I don't want people to have video like song input because they will literally drive me fucking insane. Right. Like, right they right. they have a song that they like doesn't work for the fucking right, video part. Right. But. I don't know. I yeah. was so out of my mind at this point in life. <laughs> out of your mind. I was in high school still. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Tour and X Games and Nike 6.0. And... Yeah. Who's Adam this Long? Trip. It says Adam Long. I have no idea. Yeah. Nike dude. Like this is like, we went everywhere. Yeah. Me and Garrett were definitely just like failing high school, and they were somehow <laughs> like letting us keep going. Five months to freedom. I like that show too. Yeah, we had an MTV show at the yeah, time. So like this was. I nuts. love that, bro. I like, blew my wheel you guys. I can't even Ooh. believe I knew you guys. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> just <laughs> jumping. Case the hell out of it. Why did you jump it straight? Because <laughs> he you wanted to. This fool wanted to jump. You, you know him. Yeah, he just wants to jump off of this shit. Whoa, 180 whip. Losi ran from you. <laughs> the bike almost hit him. Shout out to Losi. Oh. That was sucked, oh. dude. That sucked. What the fuck was that about? His, His chain, chain broke? Sl- broke. Oh. We were riding a rain Dude. spot. Chain that was a broke. badass crash. But then Nigel going to the hospital is how I found that tail whip gap. Because <laughs> he was in the hospital and the smoker Dave was like, you want to see a crazy gap? Rest in peace. Yeah. RIP to smoker Dave. And Damn, smoker Dave gave you that spot. Ooh. Yeah. Where's the clip of the 180 bar? He never got that at Barcelona. I think so. I think he that. See, he got mad. I could tell he sat down. He probably didn't try that bitch again. <gasps> wow. 180 bar, Nigel. You be doing some crazy shit too, big boy shit. That you was- can tell he blew off his bike, dude. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you playing too much. Who's that? Maxime. Maxime was so cool. He got a lot it's of so cool, but yeah. it was cool hanging out with him. Spinner shorts are sick. Look at those. Things. <laughs> <laughs> they were sick. That shit gonna come back. Hello. Okay. There's the gang. Well, thanks for that, Chad. That was a nice. Uh... Well, thanks for making that, you guys. Down memory lane. That was. That was uh, it's going down memory lane for me to watch it. Hell yeah. Thanks for making it, y'all, because that's a classic in my see, my eyes. Dennis's thanks. That's my uh, <laughs> one of my Mount Rushmores for video parts. Garrett, thanks Dorito bags for being comfy to sleep with. Bill, barbecue Billy's in there. You thanked him. God. I remember thanking God because that's just like what everyone else did. (laughs) 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 I remember watching that later. Yeah, look at you. (laughs) Glenn Milligan for Daisy and Chuck. Daisy and Chuck, shout them out too. For putting up with me. Bill. Yeah, barbecue. You put Juan from Barcelona. Fernando. Oh, Fernando and Juan. Uh, Did Christian film a lot? Christian? I can't remember. Garrett. You think you think Dennis My or, dad think Garrett thank for driving me no. all over. <laughs> Let's see. Garrett, man. Everyone that rides their bike has fun and doesn't take it seriously. Dad, Keep it hellish. <laughs> you alone. Hell yeah. Keep it hellish. Jeez. He's gnarly. <laughs> yeah, that was six 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 Garrett. Yeah, yeah it was. was. I remember yeah. six point oh six 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 it out. This podcast is brought to you by Camp Woodward. Yep. All the Woodwards. Woodward West. Woodward, PA, Woodward, Tahoe, and Woodward, Colorado. I've been to the two, Woodward West and Woodward, PA, and they are amazing. Yeah, I went to Woodward West with with this young gentleman right here. Over the weekend. Over the weekend. We had a great time, right? Yes. Yes. (laughs) There's a dozen places that looks nice. Uh huh. There you can ride bikes. Yep. Have fun. Mm hmm. Truly did. It was actually two days of uh, just. Just messing around and, and riding bikes and jumping on trampolines and doing little parkour stuff and checking out some snow. It was honestly a cool weekend. The snow was cold. <laughs> snow it is cold. cold. And uh, <laughs> and right you now... Sh- I- you should say jinx because you say that at the same time. That's jinx. true. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny, dude. Um, but, uh, you can go on the website, yeah, but there's, see so the visiting there's, pros, see mm-hmm. all the... You can do camps throughout the summer as a... A kid, mm-hmm. but you also there's adult stuff in the off season. There's yeah. tons of different stuff, yeah. tons of visiting pros. Just 
endless stuff to do at all the camps. They're releasing the visiting pros uh, as as the summer goes on or gets closer. They have Nyquist in August that they're releasing, and a couple of they got a street dude. They got a they got a ramp legend in there, and then uh, somebody has to look my tricks. That and we do love your tricks, dude. So thank <laughs> yeah. you, thank you. And then uh, Woodward West has a pretty crazy deal right now. You can see it up here on the screen. Uh, not fifteen hundred dollars, not thirteen hundred dollars, but a thousand dollars. So. For a um, whole week, that's a food, whole week. lodging, every type of ramp, foam pits, everything. It's a thousand dollars a lot. A thousand dollars is a lot, but for summer camp, it's, it's really not too bad. Fifty percent less than fifteen hundred dollars, so so that's a lot of money. Yeah. So, um, super good deal. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars is a lot when you're a six year old, almost six year old like you. <laughs> but for a parent that wants their kid to go somewhere awesome, it's a good deal. Yeah. And they have they, every camp literally, and something that I didn't really, really realize is that every camp has just ride nights. So you can go ride for 30 or 40 bucks, go session, jump in the foam, whatever well, you want. Well, when we just hours. got here, so when we got there, they just let us in when it's not supposed to be open yet. Mm -hmm. Because they do weekend things now. You can do weekend camps. There's not just the full week summer camp anymore if you're an adult you can go with your mm -hmm. friends there's like a bunch of different options now so there's an event in pa this and later this year too so a bunch of stuff going on at woodward and thank you to them for so much for for sponsoring the podcast we uh we appreciate it yep i've gone there i don't I even know how many times and i can't wait to go back the hotel the hotel's cool too yeah. woodward west had its own hotel woodward east does mm -hmm. tahoe and copper look amazing i want to get out there let's all go let's go next weekend and the weekend after and the weekend after and the weekend after or do you got plans Let's I don't do know if we have plans. <laughs> then we got plans now. Thank you, bud. You're actually a pretty good podcast host. You brought oh, up the hotel you. on his own. Yeah, I know. I for we forgot about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, dude. Thank you. You're Sorry. Welcome. Back to it. Thanks, Woodward. Well, good times. Cool. Good phase. Pretty funny. Yeah. Got a lot of uh, influence on my writing. Yeah. In that, I video. can see it. I see what you're talking about. It's just though. everything. It's like the, yeah. It's, like a, it's just... the whole mashup mm -hmm. of like of everybody, especially it is. being like a. A sponge of a kid and actually having the the skill set to to do everybody's tricks too i feel like is a, crazy you know it's like giving credit to the person that can actually execute on the idea I'll of play on what it, it was style. but then cool i felt like i could see someone like yeah. you, or it's a cool thing to see someone like you what motivated you because like lewis has told us like yeah. deadline and yeah. it was his video yeah. you know so yeah. like that's what grew lewis and yeah no i'd love to hear it. that i'd love it's, to hear what influences cool people because so it shows a lot in their writing when you hear it too. Yeah, that's yeah. what's crazy. I feel like mid. I feel like mid. You know, we have the we saw the early. Yeah, early, so I early. Feel like the hunt is like was like breakout. That's like breakout when I felt like I was like Agreed. debuting yeah. myself. When, yeah, to for real. Because everyone be knew how good you were at home and everything, but this one was like. And I had to make a video, uh -huh. you know. So Christian was. I was just always with him and just. This was He'd the, bring me to all these spots and just help me so much. This was the breakout Everything. video part. <laughs> My breakout. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Making sure we're not I getting. I know how old I was. Damn, Josh Hayes there. Josh yeah. Hayes. Yeah, man. I recognize that beard. This one was like, all right, let's sponsor the hell out of this kid. <laughs> <laughs> let's put you on the train. Dang. You were already doing it, but like, I this was the part. It yeah, started, I mean, I think like the ice. Nobody expected the ice. <laughs> See, I don't know what it was. I just was getting you clips too. You kind of started too, putting everything together. I knew it was something too. I would go to like contests and like Anthony Napolitan would come up to me and be like, Tupac's back. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> it's like the song is yeah. getting remembered how your yeah. song was. It made me feel like, dang, people watch it like that. Like the song relates to me now. Like, yeah, so crazy. Yeah, it's so crazy looking did. back and just seeing like whatever I can't I'm blanking on the name of that school, but like that school was the spot for so long. Which stack one? ledges? Oh, the stack yeah. ledges. Yeah, yeah, it was at such a young age too. You already kind of changing the thing, like the manual game in the streets. It's so just because like, that was my yeah. option. It was like what I could That's do. It's yeah, like you, how I could, if I could do, everything. be any impressive, even for myself. I thought you know, land in a manual. So I just started doing it as much as I could. Mm -hmm. It's funny the choices right. though, because it's like 
like you did the ice to pop over into the grass yeah. like and then you weren't nose heavy but you're like fuck just, it yeah, yeah i don't like, know i yeah. couldn't I believe i ice. You're like, i yeah. couldn't believe i sat in the ice yeah. so i was like i'm taking that. Yeah. <laughs> i am definitely taking that you know and when this came tripping. out you never thought one thing about it it was just like damn he got that yeah you know but yeah. you know how good you are you're yeah. like yeah how you took that yeah <laughs> yeah nose sure. in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> now you can be like oh look at your ass <laughs> yeah i mean we all do it you just gotta film and I felt like that's the way I could push myself was just with manuals. And then for a second after this stage, what we're at here, the next stage of my riding, I felt like I had to almost neglect the combo riding as much and teach myself uh -huh. how to get single tricks too and how yeah. to get down in a different way. So then that became more what I had to try to focus on. But Market Zero still, it was a part of who I was. My identity was to do combos. So I still never like got rid of it, but I wanted to get more, more single. single yeah tricks like that rather than having to ride through the whole school like this to be like imp you know impressive or whatever you want to call it be like oh that's fire yeah i mean it makes so, it makes sense yeah, in that i and, wanted to like yeah because it's tight like, and, my shit and a lot of people are copying your shit too right like yeah in, i mean in a sense in that like, way a little bit yeah but it just makes you want to keep so crazy <laughs> i was looking I can't at, believe I did was that. at the school i'm like how the hell you you like touch yeah. both sides yeah what a spot choice that shit yeah. this is when it was getting crazy too i remember like watching you do nose 180 bar oh, and benches and stuff and i'm like stuff. what the fuck this kid is getting crazy <laughs> you, you started getting like man muscle yeah i don't know like and eventually you want to separate yourself too like you were saying so if yeah. people do get on some stuff i like just had to keep going you know like, uh, like simone use my you know pop. like where it's like as soon as people start copying it it's you like know? all right i'm gonna go to the yep. next thing where but i mean you i couldn't it. believe i got up there there you go that's, that's like another the, ledge that's like that, one, so you know, that's too. the ledge that introduced that i can nose onto something too. no that was unreal when you did that i couldn't that's believe a that. staple san diego spot yeah. when, yeah. when someone ice picked it it was yeah. crazy you know yeah. on like, the tall side like oh ty so, rode that yeah like, and then the nose manual was like what i couldn't believe i could get up there like that josh hayes i don't know hold on let's see what that was crackling yeah it is oh. the, hold on let me unplug this thing but yeah that's ah, she's gone crazy Sorry about that. So for that little crackle we got rid of it but damn you ate shit <laughs> i know you're wrapped up probably early morning with christian Boom. trying to get it that's what i learned yeah. with connor one of the tricks we learned at claremont <clears> together et crazy. knows like that you shit still do that i know shit. i want to do it still again do it. that one never got really copied yeah no yeah. one really messed with that I'm surprised that because it's hard. It's so I it, tried it and I was it's just so <laughs> fucking hard you did? to keep your balance. Yeah, you it is like weird. That. And you I made it only look play slow. It so you much. made it look controlled too. Like it then wasn't just like it you wasn't like you were getting through it. It was like you're like I never wanted to do it again for some reason. Or I guess film it. Like I was like, oh, that was the clip I wanted out of what I did. There you started. That was like a single banger. Yeah, yeah. that's that what I like wanted started, too. I think you shot that. That was a good photo. I love yeah, that photo. That was a good photo. You already through started the fence, right? Singles here. Like, was it was it through the fence, like through the doorway mm -hmm. or something? It was through the fence. Tammy in the back. Tammy just popping Ollie in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I liked, I liked if I could get anything awesome. big, that was one cool thing I liked. That was pumping me up at the time, too. But a lot of my shit was just, yeah, combo-based. I, like I feel like you had a, more of a mix than you you think you did. I, yeah, just I, don't think, know. I just think people started emulating the combo or the, you know, the manualing between mm -hmm. things a lot. So mm -hmm. it became your thing. Right. Yeah. It definitely felt like it was my thing. That was crazy. Sure, yeah. To be into Davey Watson. Even... Man, you know rail to manual rail stuff felt like that was my it didn't scare me like it is how it is scary yeah. you know like today how yeah. i would be like with the at the time it felt like that's my option it's at probably the spot. more scary like, now that's what i because you're do. like the consequences are i know that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. there's no way but like at the time it was my options like well i could do this in a hangar well let me try to manual in between it would just always be manuals yeah. like but that just... you know i didn't know it was gonna lead to what it did yeah. and i was even carving any type of way of what you know the technical street riding we see today is you yeah. know it's it's crazy that 180 bar is huge yeah <laughs> <laughs> my dad's mercedes i was whipping it <laughs> whipping it i don't this, know why. this spot too yeah that was nuts yeah <laughs> 
you couldn't believe I was landing some of this stuff either. This was one of my first long nose to bars, and I was like, whoa. So you could do a long nose and then tap one out? I was like, I could. I want to do a longer one now, you know? I couldn't. I'm like, yeah. Like that did, was, we talk, did we talk about yeah, this? We yeah, we did. Yeah, I feel like we did a little and bit. I, and that's, fuck it. Because that's what it was. I podcast, I think somebody yeah. watched this. I mean, that's really what it was yeah. at that spot every time I see it. And this was like the... I never thought I could do... This was super influenced off of Garrett's part. Because yeah. I Bar Ice is all his kind of shit. And I wanted to do one on a rail. And it felt like that was what I could do. And that, I couldn't believe it. The Even when I look heart, at it today, there's no way. What's just, next? Uh, oh, I mean, there's Mark. There's no, it's a breakout part. There's my hunt part. The hunt shout part. Out, yeah. Shout out Christian. Yeah, you know, for yeah. real, for that. Um, for everything. The history of oh yeah, he didn't throw us in there. I don't know that. Maybe the market part, or I guess like my frame promo with Miles Rogish was like. That's a good one. I felt like that video part because at the time web videos were really big like you were saying yeah. there was like a, a boom in that too so when I did that video it felt like everyone was watching web videos and that thing got hella views at the time so this one yeah yeah so I don't know wait is that that's really after worked. the hunt for sure yeah, yeah it's after the hunt for sure what's up doggy Kurt yeah, sorry Kurt Cobain you gotta back up <laughs> back up yeah And this was me experimenting too, because I had only really filmed with Christian, and so I was like super excited to film with Miles at the time, and just you could tell we were vibing out in a different way yeah. than how I would ever film. So this was like, I guess the in between, because I had already yeah my market part was after this, so this was like yeah this was a big boy. This was a. I like that clip. I think yeah, I was trying to repost. Sick. I don't think I was gonna repost that recently or something. I remember looking at that like, dang, that's a raw clip in the beginning. So are we? Are we on? Was that your car at this point? Yeah, that was my oh. car. So now I think I'm in eleventh or twelfth grade. Rather than a senior, yeah, yeah. And now I fully know how high I can hop at this point too. Like I was like really trying to. And this like this point you're like on pro companies. Yeah, making, I had a pro frame. Money, right? It was my frame yeah, promo, yeah. so I was like, I'm making a frame promo. I gotta go in. Chat. Like I'm doing a switch whip part. and stuff. Yeah. Like this hop like... switch whip was. I can't believe I was doing that back then. <laughs> but see, this is web video stuff where I was like rapping at the camera. Like at the time, it felt like the coolest thing. <laughs> I swear, like a cool web still... video. But I'm like, what the? What are we doing, goofing around? I think it's. I mean, we can laugh at it now, yeah. but like we're because it's you because it's you and us. But like, <laughs> but uh, it's cool. Like, fuck it. No, I love yeah. this. This was one of my favorite parts I had ever made at the time, especially because I got to choose the song too. We, mm -hmm. me and Miles, were listening to this song all the time before we rode, so it was a part of like the vibe. Yeah, like the we already knew we were gonna use this song. Look in the car, we already slapping it. That's why I'm rapping it. The in hunt the part looked like a really good kid that can do a <laughs> bunch of tricks, but this one's like. And like people started copying you at this point yeah. you know like yeah. you're chad curly the other one was like oh this new kid can do every trick and you're just doing everything yeah everywhere. everything i could do yeah this is like you were getting choosy with your yeah now i felt like i had a little lane for myself so i'm like trying to maintain i'm trying to build off it's of way it. different than the last yeah. part already how, yeah i'm trying to like how long did you ride the gold frame for because i feel like the gold frame i'm bringing gold, that back too yeah the gold, gold the gold one. kit is like i don't know like how long early. i had it but yeah for I feel a like good it while. has a big impact. It I did. Like that was your. That was my thing yeah. to me. Was everything was black and gold was my whole vibe. So yeah, it was around this time. So it was just gold, for, gold forks, gold frame. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's funny because that's my next colorway. I'm about oh, to yeah. bring gold back. <laughs> so it'd be cool. It's crazy how many spots are like gone and how many spots are still here though like and it know, reminds like, you when you see them you're yeah. like damn that's oh. still over there like i it's just sitting there i can't believe i squeaked that one that way yeah i'm just kind of hucking stuff with miles and just have this new energy around me and i'm just like this is dope and you film fish like this like i loved all yeah. that miles is a force he was dude. so fun to like film he's, with he's was, cool was, the like, energy his, his energy was impeccable yeah. Yeah, yeah i loved it and him with Tammy was crazy. I was, and they're just freaking out on everything I do. I was like, okay, I'll try this then. And they're just like, what the? So it was just fun, like just good vibes, everything. This spot was dope. Yeah, was I don't know. I must have just wanted to be hopping or something. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, why do I have energy like that? <laughs> like, there's no way I'd be one. I have to feel good to do th these things, you know, like.
You probably felt good that day. Yeah, I was just like, or just you're just young, you're just yeah. trying to film, like you said. And if I'm capable, I wanted to get it while Miles is filming me. <laughs> Force myself to get it. Oh, rest in peace, Derek Ball. He was in the back. Oh shit. R.I.P. And I have a theory too, like when street riding's so much fun when you're out filming consistently. Yeah, like it is. Like plaza riding, kind of sometimes is. feels like you're crazy. Yeah, like you're kind of forcing it. Yeah, you're, you're just like kind of, and you're doing tricks you're probably never gonna really do, or tricks you don't even know why you're trying it because it's just like a little so thing. Something that's so good about really being in the streets filming. Because you're doing what's exactly meant. Like you know, like okay, I'm a crook. This, this yeah. is actually a crook. Not like I'm just gonna be crooking this with my eyes closed and like, because it's so low to the ground, it doesn't matter. You know. Like I that love being so in the streets. Sick. See those the Ooh. colorways was good. This was Terrell. I think Terrell Gordy was yeah the graphics. Okay. He did the graphics. Yeah. Shout out Terrell. Shout Hello. out Terrell. I I right. met a lot of cool people yeah. through BMX for sure. Crazy. Mm -hmm. The coolest people. And then Cinema what's, was an era. Yeah. What's this one? I don't know if that was before or after. That was after Market though for sure. Yeah. So market, market. Then there was we the watched the Market era. part though recently, right? Yeah, we did. So, I mean, There's a leftovers one. I don't give a shit. Click the leftovers one. Let's see some different ones. That's a different Market leftover? one. Leftover. That's not the same part, but it's, it's still, it was still like a lot of clips that I felt like they, I Shout had so many clips that they were like, dude, we got to make you a leftovers edit. And I was like, dark. what the? F yeah. They Sometimes made when you go back and watch leftovers edits, you're like, why didn't you use some of these clips? Because you were there and you're like, that was easy. But then you watch and you're like, that was cooler in some of the clips. Yeah. So I remember this part being a lot of these clips I was actually really hyped on. We just didn't know what to do because I couldn't fit it in a two-song part anymore. Because like, you were getting five to seven. Yeah, I just literally <laughs> was like, let's make a market edit. And you were hella, really popping market off. You're like, yeah, let's make it a web edit. And I loved using like rap songs I was into at the time. It was just, it was like a version of how we do Instagram edits back then. So I felt like, boom, this was a whole long, boom, slapper. <laughs> Ronnie was on this trip. Shout yeah. out, Ronnie. That was crazy. <laughs> it's just fucking Cause it, Just the speed that you had to carry. To, to get off get, the rail To gap and stuff. into it and then get all the way out. Like, that was crazy. But I'm riding with people like Rob Wise and crazy people. Yeah. So I was just like, it was elevating me without knowing. Because I'm already riding a spot. I probably, sh shit, probably had no business to even be kicking it at. But now I'm looking at it and I want something on it too. So it was like, yeah. I'm getting on the rail then if I'm going to no-hander off. I got to jump on that tall ass thing. <laughs> Like yeah, that was cool. Pop. That's in Carlsbad. So fast. That was a fun line too. I remember. I don't remember who filmed that, but that wasn't Christian. I don't mm. think. That was somebody else. Who that was, was like that? Our second trip. There you are. Boom! Slap your hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dope. Boom! Nose in the grind. What? I was just was just, just feeling metal, it. Metal peg. Blue bike was definitely an error for me too. When I had a blue bike, I felt like that's when I was doing like the bakery premium yeah, trips. Yeah, this, goes, this like, is going back a little bit. Yeah, because that premium pro. Well, you think the premium yeah, was later? Premium pro. Yeah, it's like if it is because well, now I'm riding. Yeah, I'm riding a Dan a Foley frame, so I didn't have my own frame. Yeah, you know. I think you're, so. Your, uh, oh. Yeah, I didn't even have a signature frame. If I'm on a Foley frame, here I am trusting I YouTube thought, upload dates, yeah, but that don't know. really mean nothing. So. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Now that I'm looking at it like that, yeah. And I have a 6.0 sticker on my bike. Like I was already repping this shit. Like I was like, but I didn't have a frame yet. So maybe this was like this is before because your cassette two pegs. And yeah, you had, I think you were four pegs free coaster. Yeah, at least three pegs. Connor homie clip. That was dirty back then, too. The switch bar. Rob just riding spots like he's not supposed to like that. Ooh, I love this because Meek Mill started rapping, and that's you. You're, you're like the, ooh, my the feature, the ooh, the nasty. I was like, ooh, perfect. Dennis right there. And then it goes back in with Beans. Shout out Brandon Means. Yeah, shooting great. all these. I love this clip. Yeah, I don't know why. Just because I... I remember that skate park scene and like Levi's videos and just Chandler Park's just a staple. So I love that. I got a clip there. See, because I did like bar, switch bar, manual bar ice. So we couldn't use that clip because I did something. But I could have used it. So yeah. it's like, you know, it would have been nasty to use anyway. But we were just <laughs> sat the rail. <laughs> I it's it's sacking. hard when it's like you you look at the clip standalone. You're like, a sick I know. Clip, but then when you package it all together with the other video that's part, true. yeah, you know. And it's Christian got, had a reason. He know he knows why he chose what clips he did. Yeah, he made a masterpiece. You know, every time he made anything. So, especially the market video, he was particular. 
and what he was going to use. That was sick. We wrote that spot for him. Damn, no handers were a thing yeah. for a little while. I don't really do that trick in the streets at all anymore. Great. Good times. Market. Right. So, yeah, Shout out we're market. a little out of order there. But. It's okay. Like a horror part because that'll sure. like kind of. You had some crazy horror parts with Christian, too. Damn, Nike Taipei with Garrett's ass. He made, he made me ride so hard when he rides. 1.2 million views. Right Dang. Now. Damn. Oh, I thought someone asked me what the most views is. I guess it's this. I don't know what video parts really crack off. This one was cool. Number wise. Christian had changed to like a very professional style of film. Yeah. At this point. This, one this isn't cool. as like. This is like cinematic, and this was ahead of his time because at the time it was like too good for me to even really appreciate how he was filming. I'm just like, cool, but I'm like, this is actually so dope. Yeah, little production, really good. Yeah, production. <laughs> Be cool if Christian like lived in San Diego for a few months out of the year and just made some BMX stuff. I know. Like like him this and Miles, like so damn, this sucks as not see. I know, I know. Like this shit. Those are pieces no of art. making ours. something like this right now. Damn, sorry that popping is coming. What is it? A little ox Yeah, sorry. There you go. Oh, in theory, sorry. Let's rewind. This one, I'm like trying to get on my free coast shit right here. I can't believe I've been on a free coaster for this long. I remember when you put a free trip. coaster on. That was probably like right. I mean, I've rode one even when I was really little. Yeah. But yeah. I did start. So you did, you were worried you're gonna lose all your. I know my combo stuff. stuff. Yeah. As as you, I was like, put it on, man. Like, that should suit you. <laughs> you were. You were like, just do it. Ah, uh, it's way more. And I wanted to stop bitch cranking that shit anyway, so yeah. it forced me to like get more legit with my tricks. So your I liked it. Got way taller. Because <laughs> my back, I didn't want to like be leaning over my. I remember that it changed, yeah. My bike is still like kind of set up that same way, tall up front. Fuck. Damn, Maybe that was yeah. lofty. <laughs> Maybe I lost my nose pop because I got a taller front end. Can't Maybe. get in there. Yeah, I'm Christian's sure. Toyota I can get up with there, the rusted maybe. hood. Was this oh, a, yeah. Is he on red phase right now? I guess with the gimbal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was on a red. This is good shit, too. His cameras were yeah. so... He was always on another level with his stuff. I was trying something here. Hard whip or something crazy. I never, <laughs> I never got it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I want to go back to that spot. This one? That oh, other SF one. Spot. That SF one. Yeah, sick. Fucking pops keep coming back. Sorry. Well, I guess it doesn't really bother. Not the because yeah, I don't. Not the, I, we're not gonna be able to. Yeah, it's not for the yeah, uh, people ain't yeah, gonna hear it. So. I don't really care. Honestly, yeah. at least I can hear the song and shit. That spot's cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Christian had some crazy spots, bro. I don't even know where. I can't even tell you where these even are. It just this yeah, was scary, dude. Almost died trying to do this. That spot I've been that's, riding for yeah. so long since. Yeah, you probably got like fifty clips. <laughs> I know that little loading that dog. That shit's crazy. That SDSU. One, you need to go see in person. That's a big gap. Predator grinds. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because some of this was for my real BMX part, and so it was like leftovers mm -hmm. too. So it became my horror. Real part. BMX part is crazy too. Did you? Yeah, the satellite drop or that was solar drop. Scary as hell. That's huge right there. Yeah. That was huge. I, I don't know. Like I was like, I don't know if I could go bigger on a 180 bar. It felt so maxed at that one. It was as big as I could go. That rail was fun. I was riding rails super fun. Chris died. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Is that your car getting towed in the background? <laughs> no, not mine. I don't know what that was. But that hangar 180 bar, I don't think I would do that again. <laughs> I, I mean, you probably would. I probably would. I just, when, I, when you're in video oh, part mode, you're filming. Yeah, you're just you going remember. in. That was, like, you know. I forget you're in a mode, but when you just see the clip, you're like, damn, bro. I don't know if I'm doing that again. That's not what I'm on. Yeah, I was, video parts are crazy. I they was trying crazy. to explain to someone, a friend who never Christian. filmed a video part. He's like, I got clips. I just want to like fill it up with this and that. And I was like, just mm. fill it up with this and that, dude. Yeah, like you your don't, video part. You can't do that. Like you want every clip to be yeah. stoked on. Really? That was crazy. That was crazy. That looked this like, crazy it looked like a fucking roller coaster. Right? Yeah. Like sideways, wasn't supposed to even land that. back the other way It's just my fucking, wow. <laughs> my that tires. Was like, that was crazy. Flat. Your tire was probably yeah, screaming it was. for mercy during that. It was. Boo. 
<laughs> don't smash it. Like, didn't you almost miss your hand on that? Yeah, because I wanted to, you know what I wanted to do? What? Was catch it and pick it up, how uh -huh. nasty, you know, Garrett does it. And I could, oh. it was, it was so fast. Yeah, my wheels, because my wheels were spinning so fast <laughs> yeah. that I couldn't do that. And I was like, oh, we're not trucking that again. <laughs> like, I'm just like, yeah, I don't care how that ugly it is. Huge. It is a big. A camera can never show it. Won't. Gap it is. won't. It won't. I'm riding a mega ramp no, in the streets, literally. So big. <laughs> it felt like I'm at Bob Bernquist's fucking castle. <laughs> Pass, this is right here. Pass, you. It, pass this on the way in. Yeah, didn't you? yeah, I did. It's right here. I'm gonna get some like geolocators. Find out where I live. Oh here no! Pretty. Don't be looking into this. <laughs> that was crazy. That was nuts. I think about that pretty often too. Mm -hmm. Game changing. Mm -hmm. Another one, like nose manual game changer. Like you would never use that as your banger nowadays, probably because how crazy people got a nose yeah. manuals. But yeah. when that came out, at the nobody, time, yeah, maybe somebody, but mm, that was like holy shit. That's that's shout like out to Christian. Shout, like, shout out to Ride BMX shout for existing. Yeah. Um, that's what I felt like I could offer when I started nosing that long. Like this is what I could do to change the game. Yeah. In any way, um, real BMX one's cool contest. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. Like is that the only real BMX you ever filmed? Me and Drew did one, and we got third. Oh, so you've done two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the first one I did was with Christian, and then that second What place one, did you get with the first one? Second. So you got a second and a third? And a third, yeah. Silver and a bronze. See, so they used a screenshot from that part we just watched. It wasn't even in here, that 180 whip. Oh, really? Yeah, if you go back and look at look, the 180 whip was oh, not yeah. a part of this part. It was from that video you just seen. Because yeah. technically I shot it while I was filming for Real BMX. Yeah. We didn't use the wow, clip. Wow, 2017, then 2021. Yeah. Oh, okay. I remember all this now. Christian, I love this video. Ooh, white bike and stuff. That was a little era too. I remember this one being like, you know, the song you didn't necessarily expect, but it just <laughs> fucking like it was timeless and it was like Christian's good at that. Yeah, he can really like create, a, makes you damn near drop a tear and shit. Like yeah. it feels good. Like he was I always trust him on that. Well, that was. I just got to do my thing, and he always just a cool, it together. just a cool idea. You know, like something that you wouldn't expect. Mm -hmm. Just wall ride, pull over, and then just like carry the speed. Straight. I still just haven't done that. Straight. Down nothing. A bar switch eyes. That was sick. Um, Visor era. See, I'm trying to play with my pegs a lot more too. I wanted to evolve Ooh, my whole shit. Like try harder stuff for myself. And yeah, the whip was what I really wanted. So the truck, I was like, let me just do a nasty truck. And I almost died. <laughs> and so I was like, no, we're not just trucking this. We're doing Damn, this for that's real. <laughs> At the time, I, yeah, there's some, I just wanted one, to hit a big rail hard on 80. <clears throat> I wanted that so bad. That Dude, clip. <laughs> so good. You got a lot of clips in NorCal for this. I did. A lot. Like the whole thing was Yeah, like it was. It, Christian had all these gems. Yeah. He'd be sitting on stuff. He just wants someone to hit him. I'm like, all right, I'll jump on this that, dish. That's like, the most reckless thing what... you've ever done in your life. Ever. I need, bro, I don't even know what, even that looking was... at that, what I'm even thinking, why is X Games. So I'm like, do something X Gamesy. That's it. Yeah, like, that jump on a satellite dish. Should, and I did you not. Should throw that back on I there. should. And I didn't even know it was in a flex, you guys. It just, <laughs> I jumped on it and I'm like, whoa. Ah. And I just wanted to get off. I'm like, let me get off of this thing. The X Games real parts get overlooked sometimes because the contest, they all, like, yeah. five crazy ones. And it's only 90 seconds. It's so Yeah, yeah I think that was a problem. I was going to say, yeah, it was like, so I was like, I was just starting to be like, yes. all right, it's yeah. building. It's yeah. building. And, and then, then it it's just... like, and then it's over. You know? And when and you just... watch them too, they come out. So you have five crazy ones and it's like, whoa. And they're all so short. And you're like, holy shit. And then you have to vote and you're just like, oh, Fuck, yeah, this is too much yeah. going on. Yeah, I mean, it, whenever Nora Cup stuff, like, and, and I don't blame Stu for asking, but he's like, he's like, oh, oh, like, for getting like, votes not, for, not on the list, yeah, you know? and I'm like, for that, it's like it's 90 seconds, like I don't. Oh, know. Oh, you don't consider like, it really? A I think real... we threw them on just as like, okay, like I don't want to, I don't want to bum anybody out. Because if one is but... that good, well, they're all that good. They are. Nathan's so had short. Yeah. crazy ones that are really video parts, and yeah. they they feel like it, but they're just short. It's just hard. It just doesn't really fit the normal like short part parameter. But it's a little contest thing. Yeah, yeah. and but it's, it's like already the getting it. Clips ever, so yeah, it's like, it already yeah. gets its own recognition because yeah. they're in a contest too. So, yeah. so it's like it doesn't need to be. Um, what else we got? We got Seek Life. Those were Adobe eras, and then Ooh, we haven't Dude, seen Adobe had, one. You've had yeah. so He's many. Had so I know. Many parts. It's like, I can't even believe it. So the, what, when I'm looking at this, I'm like tripping myself. We're not even looking. They just keep popping up. <laughs> I'm just like, like yo, the algorithms like, oh, you like Chad? I have a freaking video part. Look at the work this man's put in. A lot of people don't understand how you become a pro bike rider. It's like, 
type in Chad Curley, and he's filmed like six thousand. <laughs> yeah, right. That's you how you fucking do it. And, and in between ride, this, like... he threw his own contest. You've won a bunch of contests. Found a lot of shit. Yeah, bakery. It's crazy. You've you you got a resume out Damn, there. Damn, Teslas were out. That was an <laughs> early Tesla. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Dobie, man, he helped me create a lot of the the imagery Dobie's for in, Seek Life. Is, he's a big yeah. piece to Seek Life. He's how, you know, the image of how it looks. He helped me do it all. The first video part ever, I introduced it to people. They didn't know what it was going to be. This is the second one we did. So. That one's fucking sick. Yeah, this is... Shout out Dobie. He has a lot of cutty spots. So these spots are a lot different than the spots Christian would bring me to. So I just express myself in a different way yeah but just more jibby just like i don't know just more cutty because these are the spots now so i always like, like rather than a schoolyard you know yeah. where you just have space and just i always like the, the power carve that you do you uh, know the like, carving. I, lo I love that shit because like even just the the wall the wall pullover thing it was like that's to me it's like you're just by writing something shit. like different that yeah. i wouldn't i wouldn't normally expect i like to be surprised by yeah, shit yeah, yeah. and then it's like when you just like push through yeah it's like and get it yeah, it's, moving it's, the it's earth of, moving the earth more than of, anything else like i love that like. about riding yeah man it's crazy how many clips when i'm looking at this shit <laughs> and really i've got i'd be downtown filming that's why sometimes i don't know i'll be like yeah i'm i'm straight off going downtown right now because <laughs> i guess i've been <laughs> filming there so much i guess I got to switch it up. And I have my ramp in my yard. Thank God, you know, these blessings I have. So I just stay at home and just ride. Yeah. And then if I go get clips, I'm out there in the streets. I'm outside with the homies. And that's that. I feel like a lot of this stuff now, though, it's like you just see people ride it. You do. You see these tricks so often. So for me now it's like it's hard to put to push myself is like i've done a lot so it's like hard for me to like push myself to like go certain directions like right now i feel like i'm back in a combo mode a little because it's like jump back to manual as much as i can or do certain things but i mean if you look at know, any just... if you look at any pro bike riders like timeline of video parts they always have like there's this phase where they just like did fucking whips to right. flat and bars to flat right. because it was all brand new and they're like that's and the biggest one it. i've done yeah. and like all this stuff and then and then it's like then they kind of find their lane and and figure out what they that's like it. to do mm -hmm. and then it's like the progression in that in that time period yeah until and then you move in a different a different category of progression for for yourself and it's it it's always it's always interesting when people like look back at their video parts and I know. just like just, they're like oh I did this yeah and I like used to do that and I used to because you don't you get off of it and you get on something yeah. else so yeah. it's like yeah to see it is like damn it's a small time period it's a snippet of time yeah. where you were into certain things for certain amounts of time and mm -hmm. then you moved on mm -hmm. exactly that's why I love cap that they're captured yeah you know even the writing on the wall all those moments those are moments in time of what was going on right then and there that's yeah. why they were filmed. That spot's sick. Too. Yeah. And when you go back and watch it too, you're watching this like five minute piece or however long it is, and you're like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, but you did, have to I, go back to that a, moment and remember like how. That's what you were what doing. It was to you and how yeah. Hard it was. That's why yeah. you were going yeah. in on it because you were trying to finish it. Like that was my first hard 180, ice hard pretty much. And it's so funny when you say that. You say it's that like now because to... like the rollout looked like yeah. it was the first Because I was trying to get it. Yeah. I was like, dude, I landed fakie. <laughs> like t turn around. Like <laughs> literally. Because I'm put, that was the progression at that point. Like ice hards were new. So yeah. like get that in a part. Boom. Like I want to get some 180 whips. Like even the hanger through the ledge was different for me. Yeah. You know, like. It's not like keeping up with times, but you want to move with the times too, and you want to get on that, get on something. You don't want to stay on the same shit. So it's like, uh, as much of it is kind of like the same shit, because it's what it's the tricks. Like those are my trick lists in that way. But you want to move to some other ways of expressing those same tricks. Yeah, you know. And so, I mean, that's like a part of being a pro too, is like being able to still get clips today. Like, cause I've done so much shit. You got to still figure out ways to get something that's legit fire to yeah. our community still, or yeah. like fire to me, fire to like what we do for riding and respectable. It's like, we have to keep going. You know, I can't like dumb it down after doing all these tricks. People are going to call that out. Like how you be like, look, bro, you fakey truck. You don't do none of this no more. Like I gotta, this is my, I upheld, I done built like a, 
standard for me to kind of like stay at damn near like i'm like yeah. fuck that's how i'm this is how i'm supposed to be you know and people are surpassing that and there that's how they're supposed to be you know but i have my little lane mm-hmm. so i try to just be as good as excellent as i can in it you know like i'm not gonna hard five off a rail like that you know like yep. I, that's just not my lane but i must as much as i can nose and do these little things that are special to me i'm gonna always try to do it and push it you know as far as i can it's the same it, i mean like it's think of think of bands lane. like you don't they don't make the same album yeah. over and over yeah. and over exactly again. They switch and you want them to you'd be like change. make the old yeah. style yep. but you can't you, play fucking freebird you, and you're like well go yeah. listen to it then. yeah because yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. you can't make that again and it's, yeah. it's the same for bike riding it's hard it's hard for people to understand Ooh, dance comp part there's cinema there's too much shit Dude, on here you have bro. so what the hell i didn't feel like you're due for you you have like you don't have a full la part no, I never really just and filmed. That's our... Well, cinema, I would take, I would film in LA a lot with Dak and would take me to dope spots in HB in that area, but not really LA yeah. like that. I would you love don't to. really have like a full LA. I mean, shit, where, shoot, who I link up with? Kramus, where you at? Let's ride. Like, I'm down. I've never done one either until hanging out with Kramus. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, oh my God, you need that, like a dude like Zach who can be like, let's go to this, this, and this. Because I feel like so this you is always older, go right? up there. Yeah. 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 We yeah. go up there and we, we don't have there. all of our own spots. Yeah. So it's hard. But when you have I someone know. like Zach, or like a dude who has all the spots for you. LA is a gold mine. It's a different story oh at God. that point. Um, yeah, but it's frustrating when of... you go up there and you don't really know where everything is. You're like, I know. So, I know so no much way you're... for nothing. For like, nothing. Because you're going to spend time and it's going to... But when you go up there and you get a few clips on you're stoked trip. on every time, you're yeah. like, whoa, that was worth it. Yeah, I mean, having a spot, having a spot guide, you know, like same, just as you said, same Christian had downtown. it. Yeah. Yep. You need it. It's, it's funny a, how it's, it's a reflection it's the of the guide. filmer in yeah, a lot of is. ways. Though. It's, it's yeah. the map. It really is. Everything. If I didn't have them, I can't ride it that way. It really is. But then having Doby, I'm riding totally different spots. Yeah. So it was like, Did you I just want to hang out. Or was that just No, like just it? some vlogging. Yeah. St- we did make a part, actually. It just never, actually, it is out. Is it? Yeah, there's a Hicks part. Tell Hicks, come to the podcast. I want to do For real. He's cool. I miss Hicks. I I was always I, him and I always got along super good. Like we did some Nigel stuff. Yeah, back yeah. In the day. Like I I, I feel no, like his story is great. It's got to be super interesting too these yeah. days. And it's still going. His story. yeah, it's still going. Yeah, he's still, still doing, doing it doing because it. he's he quit YouTube for like a year or two. He's or back on strong. Yeah, now, now he's yeah. coming back. This full, shit's so. dope. E bike so in cool. all that. Yeah, I'll be watching him. Here we go. We're into the dreads era. <laughs> cut one dreads. off give one add it to the wall no we're not cutting these <laughs> off uh, uh. i'll tri- i have some trimmed i could give you a piece of one actually. and this so you gotta do first, this uh, i have elevated i know this is the andrew knight part well, we did an intermission one we did a cinema one but that mm, one was this is the first one we've this is the first one yeah 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 drew he's fun to film with man. i love cooking up with drew you have put out it's cool that you work with different filmers because it really changes yeah, all your shit it does that's why i think i love that too it's just people capture it different ways i'm going to different spots i'm mm-hmm. on a different vibe i'm doing different stuff with different i love that and it does show through the part you know who i'm working with and how i was feeling that was another crazy one mm-hmm. <laughs> i wanted to bar out so bad though so every time i see it i'm just like, oh. <laughs> but it could still be done I don't do those that often on real right. rails. I'm a skate park guy with that kind of shit. The 180 crook stuff is scary business in the streets. See, you take it from a plaza to the streets, it's a different story. Like, you ain't going to 180 crook on no rail, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ain't going to want to. No. You're like, Especially if it's just quick. you, and I'm just with Drew, right? That's different. Like, Christian used to hop on rails with me. He would like, oh, look, you could just grind through this. I'd be like, really? And then, boom, oh, you can. But, like, when I'm just with the filmer sometimes, and they're just filming, or, like, Dobie or Drew... I'm like, can I really 180 grind today? Or Christian, can I really Christian's jump the on best this? at like having, yeah, having yeah. the confidence. Yeah, because he really knows you and he'll he's jump like, on like, it with you. That's just like a plus side of yeah. film. No, like yeah, was, and that's like rare. He was being that's rider. Rare. I mean, yeah, that's kind of like, rare. It is rare. Yeah, like I mean, you, you film with, like, with really, Miles. To really yeah. trust someone. Miles too. Yeah. When like Christian tells you, but Christian was like jumping on shit with me. He'll be like, "You really got this." Yeah, I trust you because. <laughs> you you can tell he when can, he knows you got yeah. it. Like, oh. And he knows it'll work. Like, yeah. no, you can roller coaster yeah. through that. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> like, yeah, you can. Like, <laughs> he really opened my mind. Yeah. Christian. Lockdown? Should we do one more before that? Yeah, which, that one, which one? Shoot, I don't we're know. Missing one? We're missing one. There was like a like yeah, a Nike there was like a Nike era when I'm like filming with Garrett Hella. I'm down. There's I mean, like, or Market Zero. I mean there's always Market there's Zero. Market, Market Deno. I don't know. Promo. The sure. blow up the park at OB was fun. We should watch that. That was like, hella a fun. Huge part of yeah, OB is. OB. 
That's my life. Like where you kept this is Grant. You feel over me? And over on yeah. The OB so was my shit at OB. That's my part. And I'm glad I did a part there because it, I felt like I deserved it for myself. Like, do the coolest stuff I can right now at this park and capture it. Because at the time, Instagram is all you cared about. So to do this was like, I guess you needed it to be a little video contest for me to do all this at OB in yeah. one day. I couldn't believe I got all this shit. Like, what was the concept again? A day at the park, blow one up the park, twenty four yeah, hours, twenty four hours or something. You could film at night, but I, you know, I ain't gonna go tonight. <laughs> I was just trying to get as much as I could eat in the day. It was so fun, like. So it's my favorite part, just flowing around. For those, yeah, for those that don't know, Chad used to be very, very frequent at OB. <laughs> yeah, like before my ramp for sure. Before the ramp, because yeah. you lived in OB mm -hmm. in and Point then, Loma, yeah. and it's like Chad didn't necessarily ride like he people would think you did because you were just you would just rip around the park yeah, be flow around. so this. yeah There'd like be elements of stuff like yeah. this that would happen so the stuff i'm filming when i do stuff like this i'm strictly getting clips like you, you yeah. won't see me just backwards grind fakey be manulin no <laughs> like when yeah. i'm at the park i'm jumping hips and i'm flowing you yeah. know yeah. but when i get clips that's when i tap into doing all that stuff this is like how i like riding when yeah. i go to ob i just hit the hips and flow you know mm. flow that's my favorite thing. Roast, you mean? <laughs> and so pe favorite. a lot of people, a lot of people would see you ride at OB and be like, "What the fuck?" To be tripping, cause yeah, I, yeah, because I probably wouldn't film it that way, yeah. Because every time I get a real clip, I want this, like yeah. a technical clip, yeah. So that I'm not really filming a table on the hip, you know. And people be, and then the, in real life, it looks different too. You're not gonna capture it on film sometimes in real life i don't know you can see it though yeah it's, i don't know it's your local park and you're so <laughs> i'm just like riding transition yeah it's like you don't notice it but to, yeah it's i don't like, know whoa that looks way too good <laughs> yeah i don't know just and then uh comfortable riding. and then you're you generally rode that side oh, and when i go there yeah. i ride the bowl, the bowl which is like the yeah. bike side essentially and i always equated it when you would drop in it was like that was, was like, my bowl. It was like there. the school of fish and then the shark going through it because all the skaters would literally they start be moving. Like, they yeah. would just see even there and they yeah. was all on the side because they know they yeah. know better because like it's all love. Like it's not like I'm punking through, but also yeah, I just look aggressive sick. in the park. Like, yeah. You probably don't yeah. want the nobody to be in the way so you were the shark <laughs> yeah i just kind of they were time, they were shook dude. And it was like, like i did like, want to oh have God. that like in my heart like i'll just be like I want to ride so bad, so just move. Yeah. And so, like, it'll have that aggression behind it. And yeah. yeah. They feel it. So it's like, all right, it's all good, bro. You you live here too. Like, it's like, it's all good. <laughs> it was funny. I was, I was, That's... I'd always be on the bowl side, see you over there and be like, it is crazy. Cause they would see you like over on the other side of the park and they would just be like, they would just drift off to the side <laughs> and just let you have it. Yeah. It was pretty, yeah. it was pretty, it's like, crazy how they gave me the park yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I wrote the whole thing. That was my bowl. Yeah. You know, like, I'm going to start right where the gates are open over here. And I'm going to kind of go around the whole park and come back and sit here. So, like, <laughs> as long as you guys don't go when I jump around, cool. And everybody would be down to watch and shit and just, yeah, yeah I it mean, was I respectful. Was like, part of that is they wanted to watch it, too. It was, it was fucking. It's really cool. It's And it's etiquette. Like, I'm not trying to do that. But also, I did. Like, if I was sessioning hard, that that's how I would session there. So, yeah. it's like. Just like I'm moving out their way the whole time too. Like when I finally drop in, they just would move out mine. Too. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it was crazy. It's one of the most crowded parks. It and, is. And but when you're a real local there, skater or bike rider, mm -hmm. people, you're moving. People know you're getting their session in. Like let them yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's always like one of those things too. You'd come in hot, mm -hmm. be from be mm -hmm. like 30 minutes, and then there, and then and then they, that's yeah. it. Yeah. So just let them get it off. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. Anything else before? Else I mean, lockdown's much. the last one, or which one's was that the latest one? That is my latest one. Yeah, like so you're, real part. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is what? Two, yeah, two years ago. Two years. Unless, yeah, that's my real part. That's my last real, real, real part. Yeah, let's, let's watch it. We'll watch this one, and then and this is a Christian. And right? there's a lot of spots here too, like we were saying, where this he would like tell me that it works and it does work. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm trying stuff that I wouldn't really just jump on. I wouldn't do it for no Instagram. Like, there's no Instagram. There's a difference between filming parts and Instagram clips. Like, I'm not going to jump on a bar ice or triple kink rail for Instagram. It's just not going to hit the same. as like, there's theatrics. There's ways to play it for Instagram. So I'll do different tricks. Yeah. But for BMX and pushing myself in real stuff like this and clips, that's how I film. Like, I'm just like... Yeah, I'm trying to push myself in those ways. Like, jump on something I don't want to yeah. jump on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, even those would be cool clips for Instagram, too. I'm not saying that. But that's how I separate my difference in riding when I film a part. 
I don't want to show that's all this up. kind of stuff. Yeah, that was. Well. I mean, even like the like I said, I like to be surprised. So it's like the wall, the wall ride just pull out mm -hmm. 180, mm -hmm. no bar. Yeah, like, yeah. like that. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's a shit. That I, I want like. it to bar, but it's I'm like, sure. yeah, but it, but you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't yeah, need yeah, to cool. for sure. No, I like that it's appreciated that way because for me. It does bum me out if people do look for that extra bar because it does hurt if I can't. But sometimes it's more tasteful without it, too. So it's yeah, like I, I got to balance yeah. both of those, you know, as much as I do want to shove a bar damn near in everything. Cause <laughs> everybody knows how I can, push Everybody it, knows right? you can do a bar. <laughs> for sure. So it just feels good Wait, to like, a, get a good clip. That's the dorms or something? What? Yeah, that, that was in like IB, Imperial Beach, some oh, random right. ass little like library or something. Huh. Christian found it. <laughs> Another spot he had. See, I just got off Nike too, so I had some vans on in these clips. I was like finding myself with clothes again because now I had all the options to wear everything. So I'm wearing like Bape shirts. Yeah. And, like before I was just uniform, Nike, Nike, you know? Headed so up. now it's fun to just play with all these different clothes. That's like a, I don't know. We just ended up using that. I was trying something else. That's cool I can't though. Remember. Yeah. It's like a. Another San Fran clip, right? Yeah. So I love riding up there. I just love getting out of SD in general. You know how it is to film and it's refreshing. This was the well, middle of COVID. Yeah, Because I remember me, you, and Christian were up there and the world yeah. was dead. Yeah. Not dead, but like... No, it was We'd be doing stuff and people would Look, come out with their Demarcus mask. has a mask. Yeah. This was <laughs> that the was the era. This is when... Uh, it was cool. It was, you were filming this. It was a good, was it was right a good time period to be a bike rider and not care. Yeah, you just like, go out and get nobody's going to be bugging you. If you had the balls to be outside yeah, type of thing, yeah. that's what it just felt like. Like, you're outside, all right. You're already risking that. They don't want to kick you out. Yeah, this part's sick. Yeah, Le Leaving get, San Diego for you, like, after watching all these video parts, like, I get it. So even though not, now that there's refreshing. not fresh spots in San Diego, because shit changes yeah, it's not all that. the time. You have to, take, yeah. you have to take breaks. Yeah, yeah. You, you like, do. You know, maybe in four years you'll want to do another downtown San right. Diego part. Yeah, you know? yeah. That clip is so fucking sick. I love that clip. It's just Christian, the way he filmed it filmed on top so of the good. van, right? Or on yep. top of the, the yep. rig. I think Corey was driving it. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think even going back to the travel thing, it's also that idea of like, well, I'm not going to come back here. I can't come That's back. And, I too. can't pack, come so back here two days. You make sure you try to get yeah. that uh, different. Yeah. At home, you know, you could come back and get it. Mm -hmm. and That's why it's different wanna... vibes, though. Yeah. Like, your Adobe part downtown is like you said, it was kind of sessioning, like mm -hmm. skate park vibes. Yeah. Like Little you're at a skate spots. park, you're using the whole city. Yeah. Where this is the San Francisco stuff and the real BMX parts are like I'm gonna jump. I'm on trying, this yeah, like solar panel. some scary shit. I know I can't. <laughs> like that, I wouldn't I do like, again. No, I, would <laughs> I definitely wouldn't do again. It's just, and I feel comfortable the most with Christian. We built a dynamic like connection. To like I just trust him when he says he's ready. It's like he's gonna get. I there. really feel it, and it's like so I've been that way since I started filming. So it feels super at home when I made this part with him. Like, like. It felt like throwbacks for you me. Yeah, like together. we're sitting together yeah. in the car. It felt right. Like it felt like the old days, you know? Is there in that way? Is there but, ever a point of this is from my personal personal question, I feel like is like Christian has a huge rig, probably takes him sometimes to set up a mm -hmm. little while. Mm -hmm. Is there is there too long? Yeah, there is too long, but I'm used to that now and it's damn near like I just get really nervous for him to say he's ready now. Okay. Because I know when he's ready, he's really ready. So okay. now I just, I take that. It's never too long though. He knows he, he knows how it is, you know, to yeah. be stressed on anything. So he'll, he'll get his shit together, but it's nothing like him saying he's ready. It makes me feel really like I have to be tapped in a zone. Like, yeah. okay, bar ice yeah. and that is scary. Like I, he's ready. Okay, yeah. go. Like when he says he's ready, he's ready too. Just as ready as I want to be. So I always trust like him with that, but oh, it never wow. takes too long where I'm like, oh, now I don't want to try it. But now. then like th that's the process, like me being there for the bar ice. It's like, all right, I'm ready. Yep. All right, I'm ready. We're yep. about to go in We're on about this to together. This could be the rest of the day. Yeah, you know, literally. That's crazy. Dude, I ate shit trying to grind Wait, down it. He was trying to teach me that that worked. And I jumped in it going down and went <laughs> over the bars and he caught me. We didn't even film that because it was just a feeler like. And I'm like, I think I'm better off going up, bro. I don't want to go down. <laughs> and then sick. I just started going up. That's, that's sick, too. This is my first hard 180 whip right here. I remember at the rollout, I was all bummed on, but fuck it. It's just, it wasn't bad. It's yeah. not bad. Just, I remember it you showed like me that. I was all like, bummed and shit because nice. I'm in the... I just a bunch of shit. It's that spot again. I'm always yeah. there. <laughs> 
That's a scary trick for me to do on that. What the? 180 crooking, like I said, is not a fr Eesh. trick you ever really want to do in the streets. Yeah, I love working with Christian. He brings out, I feel like, the best. There was a serious pause in that bar bar. Because <laughs> it's high, and I yeah. just wanted to, to wait. And you see how hard that was for me, Dennis. That was a hard clip for me. It goes by for like it's like kind of not whatever, but it just goes by. But that clip was so hard for me, the Peg's Ice Bar. That because I don't do grind to grind stuff or gap like this. That's all. These little pieces are what's progressing for me. Yeah. So those elements of oh up rail to gap ice and then I barred out like that was all that whole setup type of thing is progression for me. Yeah. Even though I yeah, bar I've been doing one forever. Trick, but yeah. Being there was like it was like that was real. I was like Chad, you gotta you know rail to rail. You're like, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you that. I'm sick on this. You didn't even want to ride it, but it was like come on, you got this. Yeah. Like it's scary, it's but scary you won. And you were so scared, and then you did yeah. one, and it was like okay oh we can then, do it and then you, <laughs> you know, did the ice like, and you're like oh shit, shit. I and can you're bar. like i could probably try yeah. this and then that was you ended up doing so grind to grind many. probably 100 yeah there's the know, there's tries, a lot takes yeah, yeah. Being so scared. many that's, what, that's how these clips are crazy yeah you go from like being scared of that first attempt and now i did it just to get into it it's pretty much just like the, the rail the other day it's like yeah yeah all right we all want to get tricks on this but we all gotta grind we gotta grind it first touch it yeah the shit that nobody knows when you watch it, yeah. and then also the shit that you probably even forget when you mm -hmm. watch it at a point. That's it's what makes like, the video. That's what makes yeah, it all video yeah. part so cool. Apart, dude. I and can't. that's why it's scary to step in and say, "I want to film another part." You'd be like, "Cause you know what goes into it." That's why I'm like, "Damn, put, it's been two years." Oh shit! It's, I mean, it's, it's like been two something's years, coming but it's up, good but kind of just to let it set, yeah. to let it sit for a let second. Let it sit. God, you put so much stuff out. Yeah. And it's scary to know when you got to, if a video part means you're going to scare yourself. And like, video parts are always, you got to remember, they're always really fun right yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. You got to make sure minutes. like you're ready to finish it. Cause yeah. don't you think like, <laughs> yeah. Cause then there's a point through where it gets like, it okay, gets tough. Now you're like, I got to you like, start kind of thinking like, what is my banger going to be once you're around <laughs> that point? Cause you're like, how are we going to wrap this up? You know, for what, everything we have. I was yeah. gonna see find the rail to rail, but is, the, the, is this a leftover? It's either there, like a, right in the beginning. B sides or something. It's in the, it's in the beginning. You think? Yeah. What is it? What this about? is like the that raw gap stuff, ice yeah. bar where oh, I tried yeah. it hella times. It was like the raw. Yeah, I don't know. It is in here. Um, this is the only Rockstar BMX part, I think, too. It's kind of like when Rockstar was going through its change and focusing more. And on I wanted stuff, to do so something cool. big for them because that's my main sponsor. You know, as yeah. far as like my biggest you know supporter and all that i wanted yeah, to do something for them forever. yeah so i was like i'll give you guys a part if you're down to back me in doing it and they let me choose the music and like choosing that currency song was hard to clear it was like a whole little process it was a lot more than just the video obviously there's stuff that goes into it but that was crazy too. that was hot bro i never do wall ices so all these little things that kind of like, led to this like yeah quick, quick new stuff fun. for me like just scary as hell. Yeah, no. And Christian time. set up wood for me though, low key. Like, mm -hmm. there's like on the second stage and like little things like that. Like, if the filmer's down to bring wood, yes. like Christian was always down to help me get if you progress have an excuse myself. Of something Christian's yeah. like the first one. Like, we first can one, yeah. That run out, yep. out like, yeah. Bring the broom. We'll bring whatever you need. And it's like, okay, now the options open. Ooh. Now you can't just say you want to try it unless you really want to. Cause he'll unlock the gate for you. Christian didn't tell me to get like, the hell out of the way. <laughs> no, you're just watching me. <laughs> you're my, you're my, you got my back. You got that. He usually would tell you to move. That's I know, funny. That's funny. But I, you don't. I never noticed that was in the clip until now. Oh, Maybe right, I did a bit. Maybe because it was a rock star edit, he kind of didn't mind you back there, even though you don't. Have you don't even have it. You just have a. There I go. Oh, he said, get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> he's about to land. Get the fuck out. Of yeah. There. Now he's oh. getting it. Oh, that hurts your feelings when you don't throw that bar. Oh, and then oh. I'm forcing it, and now I'm falling. Did we session it together? Did you go? Back you did. Day. No. Maybe I it's wrote just it one day. you or something. You wrote it with me, I swear. Unless you went back. Sick. Dennis just pulled his shit first try and then sat down on the bench. What did you do? Uh, tires. Yeah, kind yeah. of tires. Yeah, you probably got that quick, though. You don't have to throw the... Did you just do it? I can't I remember. Can't remember. <laughs> Look at us. We're such a random, like, you know, duo of best friends right here. It's like, why are they friends? Oh, a bike brings them to yeah. friends. Yeah, it makes sense. But if you just see us walking around in airports, people just oh, look yeah. at us so weird. Like, why am I with... Oh, we can keep watching. This I mean, this is 30 minutes long, but this is... I'm sure there's going to be some fucking snippets of gold in here. <laughs> the B-sides. There's always some stuff in B-sides. Oh, I need to change the quality, though. Hold on, let me make that That's why it's good doing real. stuff with the crew, because... Yeah. 
All right, is. Go. Let's get some 4K. Get you, because I remember me and Christian kind of got you to do that, that long grind of bar too, and you're like, I don't know. We're like, you got that. It looks yeah. so sick for your party. I was like, for real? Yeah. yeah see, you did it so good. Just I like needed, we knew you would. Yeah, I needed. You need your friends to guide you to along the way. Yeah, it's not just Christian's me. ass like, grinded it first try. I know. Like, We're like, you could just make it to the end with yeah. his feet off, pretty much. Yeah, I think like, he sat down, fucking yeah. around. That's the one. So that's the one that's in in NorCal. Uh-huh. That's like at the school he grew up at. Is it? No, I'm, no, I'm pretty sure I've been there with you guys. Maybe, but that's not near it, his house. Oh, okay. But it is one of his spots. He knows that rail for sure, like that. He sat on it. Look at Kato. Shout out Kato. He was there that day. Yeah. He used to race with him, so we grew up racing. Okay together as oh here's kids. maybe what you were looking for that and then i wanted a three or something crazy and i just uh, couldn't, couldn't do what i wanted <laughs> and then i went back this way and i don't know what i wanted probably a bar to manual and then see i just <laughs> was like yeah. fuck it christian i think it's smooth enough to use it's like just and it's just a cool spot yeah, cool cool way to this do. was a battle that was hard to do and the kink goes to the right towards the fucking wall. Yeah. So the one I did pull, I kept trying it to go through the kink, and I never got it. So it's like I had to take the one I did get off the side pretty much. Well, it wasn't off the side. It just couldn't get off the fucking kink. Yeah. But and I like, started dying. You were tripping yeah. on that, but it was like, dude, you can't it go looked, straight off the kink. Yeah, it couldn't. Wall. But it you, there's there. people that do go off, and they go to the right, though, yeah. and they're just... You're going pretty fast. It's different. Does the kink actually bend outward? Mm-hmm. Oh, it bends I mean, and goes to the right. Like yeah, it, yeah. it looks like on footage, it's just a kink. It kinda, you can kind of see. Yeah, it. literally. See how you go into the wall. Yeah, yeah it right turns now. you right. If you're real locked in, you go into that wall. But you see, see, I hit it, but it's gonna be loose. That was hard, dude. Yeah. Bar ice. Even if it was just a double kink, you know. And then I was like, oh, that third one is ridiculous. Yeah. I would never ride a spot like this either. Like same thing if it wasn't for riding with Christian. He like unlocked that whole thing and. He just knows you could grind through it and what I'm capable of, I guess. Every single clip that's ever been on a BMX bike has been filmed by there, by him, right? No, really? probably not. I was going to say, Milky real? and shit had that stuff recently, right? Christian made yeah, Milky did something crazy. Yeah. For, every for everybody. For BMX who's ever got a clip, Christian's the one who made it all happen. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. there was knobs and stuff on it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of them. And you, you went in there and... Yeah. No, that was pretty much, yeah. You know, that was it. got that school running, so like... Oh, he didn't put the crash in there. I ate shit on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, shit. Christian. I landed in the street, fakie and everything, just <laughs> wrapped up. I missed my hand. It was bad, actually. <laughs> but, you know, raw cuts. Yep. Oh. That's scary. You could do a million nose bars. You take yourself to a setup. All of a sudden, you don't, <laughs> you're just looking at it so much crazy. different. It's terrifying. And then the first ledge that you ever nose man nose bar. Far, See, yeah. there's a lot yeah. of spots yeah. that I just keep revisiting. I mean, you're in San Diego, so you you're gonna re- go back to a spot. It's not like um, there's that much shit. There is that much shit, but I just I ain't no hunter like that either. I'm not like Dak and Garrett and bringing a list. Like, thankfully, I do work with the people I do because then Christian has them for me. And like, because there's times like I'd have to do I have to do research if I have to step my end up. But thank God I have a team of people that. I'm just riding with or already riding something or the the filmers got it for me. I found some shit. I don't know if I found that, but I think I did. The homie gave me a pin for that. Oh, right. Yeah. And I was like, what? That's right here. And I started blasting the whole thing. I put it on Instagram. That shit went viral. (laughs) And I was like, I'm going to start three. I wanted to three tuck for my part. But then people had already seen it. So it wasn't this like, I don't know. I like rinsed it out on Instagram. Kind of. I did a three table and a truck that went crazy. What, so then the three tech was like where did the manual in come from just like is that normally just, what you do n- it, no it wasn't normally what i did i think for the part i wanted to just come in fast Ooh, and do it yeah. but what i normally do is pick my wheel up and go in okay so that's why i just yeah. like held the manual. just like a small yeah, thing just but i small, felt like it really did add to it, it helped for some, you know pump, like just like, like a cool just like a cool element yeah. not necessarily it just helped me pump yeah it's like some racer shit like just help me get in there <laughs> that's a big half cab whip because at the time i was like where can you do a big set fakey drop and another set fakey yeah. drop but then it was like it's this one works setup for like this kind of stuff yeah like boom and then another one boom Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah it wasn't easy that one no. i was fucking working for that Bang. and it still felt weird but you got to take it you're like uh i don't know my feet are gonna look like that when they blow off and kevin was filming with me too yeah, I was like, yeah. a bunch of clips with Christian. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. That part never came out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Demo Lance, part too. And a Corey Martinez part. Yeah. Christian's got it. Wait, Demo sitting on that, that one too. Crazy part what? And that part one's two. that no. needs to come out now. Yeah. That's been a while, y'all. We need to see that. I think last time Demo was here, he like had a joke about it. Uh, I don't know. I don't like just one of those things. Like, yeah, it'll be out next month. Like, it, like <laughs> totally I hope not so. fucking yeah. serious. <laughs> I'll be so sick of people asking. Yeah. 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 I mean, shit. It's been a while. Yeah. And there's some sh- there's some clips in there. I mean, I lived a couple. I of haven't clips seen them, but blocked. I know of some. Yeah. But I'm trying to see it. I remember Kevin was like, you should manual five. I'm like, bruh, I ain't got that. Like, he thinks I'm, I mean, I love that my friends think I'm that good. But come on, bro, I can't do that off that ledge. Right, loading dog. I wish I had it like that. I mean, one day on something, maybe. The way Garrett did a manual five, he did like a backlash into it. The one downtown. Yeah. Like, it's dirty. And this was scary, man. I was just fucking. This is crazy. I couldn't, when I was three day, my eyes got so big. Cause when oh, I was, <laughs> Did you do it twice? Or yeah. I did it hella time because my bars moved and I thought like, ooh, can I take that? And I looked at it and they were like, dude, dude you might want to do it. Like, if you're going to truck something like that, you're going to want it cleaner. So I watched it again. Right here, I thought I wasn't going to do it again because I was like, I just lived. I would have taken that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Honestly, that had a sick, like, I lived. Was perfect, but. But that's why I kept trying it. Yeah. Again. Because I wanted it perfect. But yeah, you want it perfect. But that. That was sick. Yeah. You liked that? I would have been like, maybe, that. maybe, what? and I'm I very like, like not like that. What? But that, that was like, no one, even Demo. I looked at him, and he's good at telling me that kind of stuff. He's like, maybe the front angle, because it because he did swerved God. away, but it looked it looked cool. But maybe Dang, the front angle Dennis, looks we need, crazy. We needed you there for that for me to keep that one. That's you. You're yeah, because right, then now I'm trying to get it hella clean. See, and I thought I got away with murder, like murder. <laughs> like I'm like, dude. <laughs> How am I here? I thought that was it. Then we looked at it. And yeah, we were just like <laughs> that, that didn't have that like real sketch to it. It had like now my foot blew up. That was a good one. I wanted that one because that one I picked up and everything, and my bars moved, so I had to fix them. And that fucks the whole flow up. And that's still not really how I would want it, but it's so big you can't choose. Like the airtime is in- uncomparable to anything I've trucked, so I couldn't that's like insane. float right. Pop like, three and throw your bars that high. Just three and over. Ugh, I know the three, I'm telling you. When I threed it, I couldn't believe it. The security let me do it. He's in the back. He only gave me that try, those three. Insane. Yes. Yes, go, baby. And bro, I'm telling you, the three, I thought I was going to over-rotate. And that's when I was like, ooh, five would be dirty. But when I threed it, my eyes got huge. Because I was like, this is way bigger than it even. When I was in the air, the moment of like, you know, when you're floating at the mm-hmm. top of a... It was like nothing I had ever felt ever. Cause like my eyes big got drop. big. Like I was like, damn. Like I hopped this high on the three. Like just to three it real quick, yeah. feel it out. Three was like, woo. It felt like tie cover of tie three. Yeah. Like yeah. it was like I can't just three it to feel it. It was a real. Woo. Oh yeah. And my eyes got huge, and I'm like, bro, I, I'm just trucking this. I'm not jumping down that shit again unless I'm like not doing oh, it no more God. i was like let me just throw it i'm done I like never that was the biggest truck the bars like yeah. that we're throwing the bars that up there <laughs> thankful that word yeah i'm thankful and that's why video parts are scary you got to step yeah. up to the plate to things you know you could do and probably you are the one to do it because you're thinking about it so you got to step up to it and it's hard to like you know commit to like video parts in that way because i've put myself through it so i know what it takes like we all do so it's like it's hard for me to just be like i want to go in again that was like what, a year for sure but it's like a year of like your highest in riding and, and scary scaring yourself too yeah, yeah. you know and and it's a, it's it's a, a mission it's, it's a, a crazy frame of mind yeah, yeah. it's a crazy that thing Dennis to go about. through yeah yeah and that's why I commend him and just like he inspires me and all that because I know what it takes. And so when he, when he was like, I'm working on another one after he dropped that last one, I'm like, how the hell are you? <laughs> like, like, you don't do that, right? That's something yeah. like we just said, no, nah, sit on it. You just let that, bro, you didn't sit on that. And that kind of thing, like you're saying, it carries over because you're in a mode when you film and he not trying to let that go. Yeah. So it makes sense to just go in again while you're jumping off some shit. Yeah. But I'm like, see, I don't ever want to be stepped into that kind of mode you know yeah. like when i'm trucking that i'm not like 
let's go keep going while I'm trucking big shit, which is something that you would take to doing. Like if that's a big crook or big something, that's now a part of uh, how you're going to look at a spot. Yeah. So yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> I don't want to, yeah, yeah. Be like, ah, I'm straight off a part right now unless, you know, it's meant to be. Well, and even we, Nathan. It that, it, you're doing another. People. You're doing another. I will. One of, I'm one just the, saying, yeah. it yeah. just knowing you are, that it takes a lot to step up to the plate and knowing like what you're about to put yourself through. Because a lot of those... It's different for me now because when I made that part versus being a kid, I was I was holding all that scary stuff to myself. Like, I'm not telling my parents I'm about to go jump yeah, off yeah, nothing. Yeah. But when I did that last part, I felt connected as an adult. So Natalie was like, she's my wife, and I'm telling her, oh, I'm going to Rincon tomorrow. And she sees me acting weird at dinner the night before and all these <laughs> weird things where it's like she knows this is a period of my life that this is what's doing it to me. Yeah, You know, yeah. it's like... Kind of like before X Games, like these jittery things. Like you're seeing that a lot the past couple months because I'm riding with Christian. I don't know where we're going to go today. I don't know. I got to do some shit to like finish my. And like she could feel it. Like, so it's different. I don't know. The older I get to like, like I'm carrying along them with me on that yeah, ride as yeah, far as yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going out here and I don't know what I'm going to run into or I know what I'm going to hit and I got to hit this spot and I'm like showing her what it is and it's like scaring me and like, yeah, yeah. like, and before it was just me holding these things inside because it's just, you know, I'm a young kid, but now I got a family. It's like, I'm bringing them for the ride with me and I hope I don't fuck up off this roof. You know, yeah, I hope yeah. I don't do nothing wrong because I'm coming back home to you guys, but yeah, you yeah. know what I'm dealing with. And I take it that serious because we're professionals and we don't want it to go wrong. So you take it that serious. So when the time does come, I swear it's like you're in a different zone to not let those things happen because you're not going to let that guard down. That's why the shit happens to you when you jump off a curb or yeah, some weird shit. Because yeah. like I've been thinking a week straight on yeah. trucking that rink on and, and I'm not, I'm not letting that go. And I've pictured pulling it and just, I've watched, I rewatched tie three it and like, just, it's like watching footage of old football dudes like watching games to make mm -hmm. sure they're good for mm -hmm. the game. Yeah. I'm like watching old clips of people hit rink on. Let me see how they was handling that. Like, I had to like get myself right and yeah, so yeah. yeah it's just a different thing now now the, that i the assess it that way along with yeah. all the, the you know yeah the, the physical because it means a lot to you you really want to get it too it's like you didn't work all this time on this video part to not really do this stamp it now you yeah. know like you get all these hard clips how are you going to uphold ending it now like if once you get in that deep that's what scares you you're like damn i got some shit that's kind of hard or scary like i can't like go back from here like no. there's going to be something that ends it if that's not the banger yeah. so it's like no. fucking a lot of the clips going. come natural you go to the spot they see yeah. the spot speaks to mm -hmm. you and the trick works. it depends on where so you're at you're so hyped part. on it, and it actually was like natural and yeah not super hard but but then there's ones you plan because you there, know they're you're going there for that i think that's half the <laughs> half the video <laughs> parts to me are always like the ones that the spot speaks to you and all that right. and then the other half is like Ooh, I'm gonna get you're like, stepping oh, to it. You gotta, you know what it you is. You gotta really get yeah. motivated and pumped and yeah. Does but it I just... love that about riding. That's like, that's the part. But that is something that scares me nowadays. That I swear, when I made all those parts, nothing scared me. Like it's like, as far as like, I wasn't filming it. Like, oh, I'm gonna have to scare my that one. That last one felt like that. Like, cause mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all like I how it like... felt. Like, but I didn't yeah. even like market one, days i just a kid i'm just riding and nothing was scaring me like that like you stepped your riding up and you you stepped yeah, into that you, yeah. you put your toes into that that pool of water I with that the jumping on the I know. solar panel i thing. know like, now i know with some, and i do like really, jumping off stuff so you did your stuff to, to everyone it. else that was like like the nose manual in barcelona like that's so mm -hmm. dangerous yeah, but you're yeah, so yeah. good but that wasn't what yeah. you do that you're like I'm, i know how to do this yeah and, but yeah. But those jumping off of shit though, you is don't have different. to do that. You're so damn good. Like you really don't have to go I know. truck ring con. I know. But that's but like, now you, know you, you hold like yourself up your, to those mm -hmm. things and when you do get a clip, like if I do truck something big, it's like, well shit. You could truck that too. Or like you know I had trucked that Santee one over that yellow rail. Yep. People ever since now then, bro, you nuts. could truck ring con, you know. So it had oh, been yeah, talks four or five so times long. as high and then the rails twice Yeah, I know. As high. But it's like just <laughs> yeah. the, the fact that you could do it, it yeah it, translates like damn well thank you so, thank you chad yeah i do appreciate it thank chad. you this was fucking, fun it was so is, fun i we want to do we, we want to do more of this it. shit just fucking chilling yeah. talking about oh, all video it. parts talking about influences yeah. uh, anything that pops that up cool. random you i know. love it that's so, my life for real yeah. as far as bmx like yeah that, it's fun to really break it down that was all know i watched when, you, when like, you jump into how many video parts you've filmed i can't you know, even believe it's it it's crazy it's crazy 
there's nothing wrong with you know you're like oh i haven't filmed in yeah, a year no, or two it's like but dude you but film more than 99.9 <laughs> percent of bmx and when you're not making a video party he's doing like yeah. a youtube episode yeah. every week yeah. no instagram, i love making content yeah your team like, trips like, i edit all my so stuff on instagram yeah. yeah i love it it's fun it's like, cool to be that smart to know now you're like the next part i drop into is going to be better saying. than that mm-hmm. or you're going to no, try you're and not, make yeah, it better like, than that and it's going to be better than that you know so you're like let's just wait yeah that's what i said let me wait it's going to happen naturally yeah someone i'm gonna have to make a part but I don't want to, like, people go out their way to, like, look and go get it, though, too. And it's like, I don't know, I'm not in a position to really do that. I'm just waiting for the time to be right. Because, like, the Rockstar one felt right at the time, too, to be working on. Mm -hmm. I didn't force it. Like, dude, I need to make a part right now. Like, I'm not filming right you know none of that it was just like let me make this right now they have they're down to support me to do this and this is like a big supporter of my whole thing Mm -hmm. rockstar deserves this for me like let me give them my all as far as that do the work so it was like fun to do it okay tap in hell yeah chad thank you guys sir Uh, yeah all 100 of those video parts (laughs) right Uh, that that'll do it for on click shout out to the boys dale Dale, Good Source. Shout out to Source, like Dale, Woodward, Chad, Fudge, yeah. everybody. All, All of right. the above. See you soon. Yep. That was awesome. That was fun. Dude, oh. it's, it's chill to. Mm-hmm.